<laughs> it's funny if i talk low enough it like the mic doesn't even barely pick up at least it didn't here but uh what is up guys welcome back to mowing mondays i had an extended weekend due to uh, a choice that i made on friday i had a couple things that i needed to do sadly thursday did not work out uh one of the main things was uh you know my wife and i had bought a kayak and we had been trying to go kayaking and like the weather and all these other factors were a problem and we had it all scheduled for thursday and thursday just sadly at the last friggin minute didn't work out and so she was super bummed we were looking at the time and she worked saturday sunday and i had planned saturday night and like all these things were preventing us from going it was going to be like at least Tuesday, but see my, there's some stuff going on with like the move with my grandma that was going to potentially prevent Tuesday and today wasn't going to work because I stream and then there was some stuff we have going on. Out. So it's just like, it was going to be days or weeks before we could go. And so I just said, you know what, let's do this. And so we went and took care of a few other things, like I said, too, and, and then went out and actually had a blast. I posted some pictures on our Facebook page, I think maybe on our Twitter too, but, um, it was really fun. We both ended up with blisters. Mine's really small. It's like right above my ring. It's like a little dot um, from, you know, paddling and rowing and stuff. And we, had, we got a little bit of a learning curve, but uh, it was definitely fun. I had a blast. And then um, Saturday, I, I know I mentioned like on stream like a week and a half, two weeks ago, I got a, a message from one of my childhood friends. It was like, hey, I'm going to be in town. Do you want to hang out? And I was like, yeah. And so we like worked it all out. And we went and hung out Saturday night, and I was talking a little bit about it in the chat. Um, so, so my my two like best friends growing up were both a year older than me. One of them lived right across the street from me, and then the other one lived like a few blocks out. And the one that lived right across the street from me, literally, we lived across each other. We met when we were four; he was five. And then at like twelve or thirteen, after like eight years of living next to each other, we moved. And then they bought a house, two or three houses down in the same area, same block as us. So then we lived there for like many more years. And, and so like, we've just been like super good. He He's in that Fox Kids Club video that I was in that I've talked about and shared like bits and pieces with you guys. Um, and anyways, uh, he moved to Indiana and isn't around. The other guy though, Scott, he's still here. And I, for whatever reason, we just don't talk at all. Um, and uh, we had a blast. Scott actually owns a Tesla that has Ludacris Plus on it, which we looked up. He didn't even know. It's equivalent to 760 horsepower, which is like legit double what my car is. My car is about 380, which is pretty fun and, and quick. But like, Jesus, a Tesla was ridiculous. But it was really fun. I hadn't ridden one uh, with Ludacris Plus. So that was fun. I, I'd ridden in one before uh, with just like the base model or whatever. Or sat in it, really. I didn't even take a drive, but... Um, you know, it was really cool to, to get to go do that. But I went out to dinner. As you guys know, I have crippling anxiety. I don't ever go to movies. I don't go anywhere. Um, and, you know, they asked me to go out to dinner, and I couldn't say no to that. So uh, I went, and we went to this crazy place. It was called The Thirsty Lion. It was like, there's another franchise out there. I won't even mention the name, but it was like a local version, a knockoff version of a, of a, of a, franchise that's out there and uh it was interesting but we had a good time we got caught up and uh you know we'll, we'll likely stay in better touch now but anyway so my weekend was awesome uh then yesterday i basically just laid low wife got home and and we just chilled and uh we watched like some westworld and some other shows so had a great time hopefully you guys got all recharged up since we've last spoke too Speaking of which, let's go ahead and say hey to some of y'all that were out in the chat a little earlier today. Uh, looks like Vegeta was number one. What up? What up? What up? Number two was Ben. And number three was Bobby. Boy, I almost hate to hand that out to him. But uh, what's up, guys? Thank you for being that early notification squad. Raised was out there early as well. What's up, Raised? Uh, Kirsten showed up shortly after. Uh, that's a bummer. You know, it's kind of ironic Kirsten we were talking about the new pirate game the other day and I was like mentioning like you know Ubi and I aren't the best of friends it's sad to hear that they let you down on that stat tracking for uh I guess it's one of the Assassin's Creed's I think is what you said or no it was Wildlands it was Wildlands my bad I knew what you were saying uh Josh is out there what up Josh good to see you man uh, Paige hello what's up 
not sure I said hi to Paige or not. What's up? Uh, what is up? Oh, uh, nice jab, RE3. No, for real, Robert, I don't even know if you're still out there. Uh, as you know, Resident Evil 4 is in the works for, you know, PS5 and Xbox series. Um, and I do plan on playing that. I don't know if I'll end up platinuming it or not. Uh, I did too. And as you know, I was one boss battle away from platinum on three. And, uh, you know, I still, I swear to God, I, since that day on stream, I have not loaded up and gone back once. It's still on my console. I just have never gone back to, to do it. And uh, I, I, I feel like it would be like five tries or less on a fresh play. But I don't know. I, I, I'm not so bad with the controls. I don't know. It might, it might be a grinder, but I, I feel like it's going to be very doable for me. And I do plan on doing that. And I don't know what you guys are going to rag on me about once I get done with that. I mean, you, of course, you could still bring it up, but I just don't know how impactful it'll still be. Um, let's see here. Who else is out there? Who else is out there? Sheep Sidious, what up? Man, I dead. Okay, well, you're typing, so you're not too dead. Let's see here. Who else is out there? Uh, if I missed you, drop a comment. Or if you're lurking and I haven't said nothing, drop a comment. There's a lot of spamming in the chat. If we could please stop spamming the chat, that would be great. Oh, wait. That was me. <laughs> uh, Michael's out there. What up, Michael? Uh, who else? Who else? Kenny. Hello, Kenny. Cosmic Baller. What up? What up? Good to see you guys. All right. I think I'm all caught up. If I missed you, like I said, I was kind of scrolling fast at the end there. Drop a comment down below. And I'll do my best to shout you out. So uh, I'm a little bummed out. I want to show you guys this. So I, as you guys know, I've been working on a trophy called like Zero to Hero, I think is what it is. And you're supposed to start with an apprentice. And you're supposed to work him up and get him all trained. Well, as you know, I, I, I can't train anymore. They're all like maxed out. And, and as you can see, the bar is seemingly like either A, like I wondered if maybe it was like, it says RP earned down there. I wonder if maxing it out is like 98 or 6,800 or something. Like I'm seven rep points away. Or, or because I mean, there doesn't appear, it's hard to see. Like it doesn't, does it look like there's a little bit left for that meat, that bar to fill out? It's a specialist. There was a bar, right? There was a black box and it was filling up. On this screen, it goes yellow or gold, whatever, orange, whatever color your eyes see. On this one, it's white, right? But I, no matter how I look at that, I can't tell. Is there a little, like, fragment left or is it full? And then I thought, oh, well, I'll just go check the trophy because the trophy will track the progress and then I'll be able to see how close I am, right? Right? No, that's not. Zero to hero. Train an employee from apprentice to expert. There, there's no, there's no percentage. Like, and, and and as you'll see, there are, well, as as, there are some that track percentages. Yeah, see, I knew it was there somewhere. <laughs> but uh, what up, Cuphead? That's actually a, a game that I've always wanted to play, but I've always been sort of like intimidate i love the art style animation all that i love like the concept of like being dominantly boss battle but the fact that it's all boss battles that's all it is it's just constant boss battles i just i don't know i've never really played it i've wanted to though maybe you being here today will inspire me to go check it out <laughs> all right anybody else got anything fun questions anything about the weekend or whatever nice originally followed you because of lego star wars awesome uh, was it like the Complete Saga, like a Star Wars three, Star Wars three, Force Awakens. Which which one was it? Elden Ring boss battles. Is is Elden Ring just all boss battles? Because I mean, like, it, 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 like there's no like you don't work your way through a level. It's not like Mario Brothers where like you start off jumping and doing things, and then at the end you have to fight the guy at the castle, right? It's not like that at all. It's like you start off like in like a, a, a restricted area that you can only jump up and, and around a little bit. So, and you're fighting some sort of big, very classic cartoon looking boss, which again, the concept, like I love the art style and everything, but I got to sound about it. All right, let's get into some more.
I've been flapping my yapper. Let's get some mowing going here. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so I've already got, uh, just before the stream started, I did uh, get my adverts all back up. I did assign a couple of jobs. So I'm going to hopefully ring off the final trophy for the, uh, what is it, the Britain DLC? The historic whatever. I should know this. But, uh, and wait a minute. Why is it not? Oh, that's weird. I signed that before. But anyways, hopefully, because there's four different types of contracts for the Britain DLC, and I think I've done three of them. And then we got lots of dino stuff. I still got to find some stuff on uh, the stuff, too. Let's see here. Uh, I think so. There's exploring, but no markers or anything. Oh, no, no. There, there's, like, like, yeah, I don't know how else to explain it. It's literally, like, as soon as you spawn in, there's no pregame. There's no warm-up. It's just, like, boom, there's a boss. You're fighting. And then you beat it, and then boom, there's another boss you're fighting. And then boom, there's no like, there's no health, there's no regen, there's no nothing. It's like, um, I don't know if it's, it, it could be really fun. It is a two player game. I don't know. I, I mean, I, I feel like it's probably, probably pretty inexpensive these days. I'm not, uh, you know. Not against maybe taking it for a spin. Okay, there's one more over there. Two two more over there, it looks like. I couldn't tell if this one on the far left was one. Or yep, it is. All right, there's the final one over there. Let's see here. Brandon Beaver played Overcooked 2. Yeah, we did. We had Gray and... and uh, let's see here. It was Gray, Tude, myself. And who else played a lot of that? Was it Nom? Somebody else played a bunch of that with us. I feel bad because I'm not recalling. Um, yeah, we had a blast with it. It was absolutely a hoot. And, and we did we did the overcooked. Uh, we did the uh, PS5 version, PS4 version. Okay, where am I going here? Okay, wrong height. What do we need here? We need seven to eight. That's really loud in my ear too. Uh, so I got the right height. Let's go. Dude, dismant you're really that high on dismant. I haven't played since stream again. I still haven't played at all. Um, yeah, I, I didn't dislike that game. As you know, there was some copyright stuff. I, uh, I'm hoping I finish up Maneater on Wednesday. Trophy-wise, I got like two or three trophies. They're seemingly fairly easy. But, like, for what's left to do those tasks, though, it's kind of crazy. All right, this is a really weird start, like, how you just kind of start in the middle like that and how I just decided to roll with it. Ouchies. Ooh. Sorry about your luck, flower. They call me the flower flower. Oh, yeah. By Condemned, Brown Pants. Is there a Brown Pants edition? I I'm not sure I know what Condemned is. You've mentioned it a bunch. You clearly would love to see me play it. I, I want to play the quarry. I, I do. I, I feel like it might be too greasy for the channel, though. I, I mean, nothing's too greasy, really, but, like, I just feel like could be sort of, I don't know, disruptive. I guess if I put my mature logo on it and all that, it should be fine. Boy, I'm like riding this wall and it's probably damaging the crap out of my vehicle. Uh, the quarry had co- oh, it does. Okay. I wonder how that works. Like, can I accidentally murder you and then you're done? Or like, how does that, you know what I mean? Like, how does that work? Or is there certain characters that are just death free, I wonder? Yeah, I knew it was delayed and I knew it was July, but I, I'm really looking forward to third. I think it's Thursday. Resident Evil comes out on Netflix. The Resident Evil Netflix series, which has been a long time in the works. I'm pretty sure it's either Wednesday or Thursday. And my wife, a, a while ago, um, 
It was like right before spring break. There was another show called God, like All of Us Are Dead, maybe? I can't remember what it's called. It was a Korean zombie series. And I watched like the first two episodes and was like really into it and telling my wife. And she's, you know, she's kind of hit and miss with zombie things. Sometimes she really likes them and sometimes she hates them. Like she's she's not a fan of like World War Z or um, 28 Days, 28 Weeks Later. The ones that are like really fast and chase you down, she doesn't like. Like The Walking Dead, she totally has no problem with The Walking Dead. Resident Evil's kind of hit and miss because some of them are like very aggressive and chasey and some of them are not, right? Some of them are sort of lethargic. So she kind of goes back and forth with those ones. But uh, I, I ended up restarting the show because she liked it. And we started this thing where we would have our coffee and watch zombies. And so it was coffee and zombies. And we haven't had any coffee and zombies for months now because there hasn't been. But we're going to start coffee and zombies again. We'll be able to watch and, and drink. Let's see here, Michael. Let's not start the. Uh-oh. Whoa, whoa, whoa. On fall, guys. I got the trophy. Nice, Chacho. Yeah, I heard that they switched it, and, and uh, I mean, I'm not trying to take anything away. It's still challenging, but I heard that they made, like, there's, like, these three-minute battles, and they're team-based, and, like, it's it's much easier than it was when you were soloing, right? Like, again, not trying to take anything away. That's awesome. It's still a hard trophy to get, but, uh, you know, I, I feel like for those who may have only had that left or were kind of chased off trying to get 100% because of that, now might be a good time to revisit that. You know, on Friday, we talked about maybe playing that again on Friday, but uh, we ended up sticking with Apex, and then I bailed at the last minute. Oh, and, and, and we almost did, like, a short one because my my wife had to take my mother-in-law to an appointment early in the morning. Um, and so we had a little bit of time that I could have streamed, but I had such a good thumbnail for Apex that I didn't want to waste it on a short stream. Like, it, it's pretty good, you guys. Like, it's pretty good. I'm pretty sure even Nam gave me the approval, and he was like, oh, that, that's, that's a decent one right there. And Nam's a hater. You know that. Hate, 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 hate. Oh, uh, you guys are already going at it again, huh? You know, things are pretty smooth. I, I will say this, Michael. Things have been really smooth in the chat, but the last few times you showed up, you've seemed to disrupt and, and start stuff with people. I, I, I'm not saying that people aren't saying things back or whatever, but none of this has been happening when you haven't been here. That That is a fact. So I, I'm not sure why you're intentionally coming and trying to start crap, but it might lead to you being removed from, from the chat. And I'll let my mods decide. Because, you know, they're watching firsthand. They're seeing it all. And I got my faith and trust in them. And if they make a mistake, they tell me and I fix it. <laughs> yeah, like all the days that we don't have you here, it, it's nice and smooth. We don't have any problems. And that that's not a coincidence. Or is it? Just play nicely is all I'm saying. Or plummet to your doom. <laughs> so yeah, I'm really pissed off at my neighbors. Uh, not anyone specifically. I, I think it's kind of a collective group. But... Uh, you know, three, four days before the 4th of July, boomers. Three, four, five, six days after 4th of July, boomers. To the point where as soon as it gets dark, Drexler starts shaking and his tail goes between his legs and he paces around the room. We've had to give him Trazodone a couple of different nights, not 4th of July, because of having, like, anxiety attacks, like super heavy breathing, because he hears the boomers. And, you know... They're not like next door. They're like a couple blocks over, so we can't really see. Uh, otherwise, I would have marched my took us over there and said something. Not aggressive. Not gonna, I'm not gonna go full full Michael and start a bunch of crap. 
I mean, if that's where it goes, that's where it goes. But, you know, I mean, there's a certain level of respect. I mean, I'll call the damn cops on them. If you're firing illegal fireworks, I mean, we found one in our backyard in a dry patch of grass. It could have started a fire, a big, like, bottle rocket. It, it wasn't a bottle, but that's essentially what it was, a giant rocket on a stick. You know, and it's like, people don't care. It's, it's not, it, it's been dry. It hasn't rained here. It's been, like, 80, 90 degrees here for days, you know? And uh, I know that at least one house in Oregon went up in smoke due to fireworks. Not not anywhere near me, but it's just the amount of disrespect and lack of care. I get it. Fourth of July, boom, boom, boom. Let it fly. It's like, what, the 10th or the 11th now? The 11th, I think, today? I bet you there will be fireworks tonight. I told the wife we just need to go park Reese's Audi up next to her, right in front of their house. And just hit the panic button continuously. And just like do it all night long. And if it's the house right up above us, we could do it from my back window. I wouldn't even have to leave the house to do it. And it would be far enough away that it wouldn't annoy me. <laughs> we, we, we talked about it, honestly, but they stopped, so... You know, it's like some of these people go spend three, four, five, six hundred dollars on fireworks, and they're like, "Yeah, we'll light them off every day for two weeks. It's gonna be so rad, America, right?" Not cool. What up, Rich? Doing well, just getting our mow on. Mowing Mondays. Love starting my week off with a nice soothing day of mowing. You know, it's funny, uh, all throughout the weekend, like when we went out to Turner Lake and stuff, we saw all these people on riding lawnmowers, and I was like, ah, oh, man, I just, I just feel like getting on a mower right now and mowing. I almost came home and fired it up. I did. All these real-life people mowing, making me want to do some digital mowing. <laughs> All right, so we'll go ahead and finish off this area. Oh, yeah, I'm sure. Like, yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure. Dang, we already almost 20%. I thought this was going to take a lot longer. And I do. I, I don't think I've mowed this particular area. And, and I know I've mowed, like... The one that has the, the rock formation that's like the buffalo or whatever. I don't know what it is. Um, and, and then there's the the one with like the uh, the big tall rocks all kind of like Stonehenge. We did that one. And I feel like there was one other like big ancient Britain one that we mowed. Not just picked up litter, but mowed. And I think that's the trophy for it, is, is complete all four of the mowing contracts. I, but I could be wrong on that. Uh, PlayStation reveal, uh, a lot of the Gollum game, I couldn't find. Oh, wow, I didn't know that, Kirsten. They should have hired, hey, anybody, uh, that's fun. okay. You say that, and it reminds me, has anybody out there watched the show Raising Hope? If so, Jimmy, one of the main characters, he does a pretty wicked Gollum impression. They should have hired him. Seriously. Like, it's not great, but if they couldn't find a good one, you know? Is there any talk of the quarry coming to Game Pass? I can't. What just happened with the camera? Oh my god! I wish I wouldn't do that. I see why I'm getting close to the stuff and it's not knowing what to do. That's definitely a glitch in the matrix. See, I, I shouldn't have done that.
Yeah, so 99.9 .9 is going to require basically every friggin' blade of grass to be laid to its rest. Oh, come on. Come on. <laughs> Fleeing on a mower. There was a, what show was it? There was one that they did that. They took off on a, on a mower. I, I want to say it was like, it wasn't Jay and Silent Bob, but it was something like that where they're like running away on like a little Power Wheels car or something. What the crap was that? <laughs> Honestly though, that worked out pretty good. Right? That worked out pretty stinking good. Reno 911? Maybe? Maybe? Time for the fingernail clippers, huh? <laughs> Alright, so let's see here. Dude, talk about Matrix. Did anyone hear about the woman cutting lemons at her store? No, what? Hmm. No. You know, I still... I still question our reality sometimes, too, Kirsten. With stuff like that, you know. The unexplained, if you will. Oh. So... I don't think I've shared this with you guys. Maybe I have. Maybe I have. I, I don't know. Stop me if I have. So, my wife and I have a pretty bad habit of finding ourselves at Baskin Robbins. 31 flavors, ice cream, if you don't know. Um, there's a couple of staple things that we like there. Uh, usually milkshakes related to, like, seasonal flavors, right? Like... Uh, Love Potion 31 is kind of a seasonal one that comes in like springish, like February, March, April. Uh, we love it. Uh, there's a couple of them that are like that. And so we tend to try to track those and go in there for milkshakes. Well, lately we've been going in there way more than we should. And um, they have this tiger milk boba tea. Now, let me just tell you this. I've never been a tea drinker. Like, I'm just not. Now, step aside from the fact that I drink your mate, which is considered a tea as well. I don't really drink, like, hot teas and all that. Like, I've actually, I get nauseous. Like, I don't know if it's, like, something. And, like, I, my mom's very naturopathic and, like, very much into, like, organic stuff. And for years, she tried to keep me off soda and, and other sugary drinks. And, like, tea was always her go-to. And I would get sick drinking these, like, strawberry-flavored teas and these mint teas and all these... And, and we could never really figure it out. So I just stopped drinking tea. So I never got into, like, iced teas or sun teas or any of that stuff. But my neighbor friend that I was talking about, Jason, remember, his mom loves sun tea. They used to make sun tea all the time. I never was into that stuff. Um, anyways, they have... At this food cart place, they have a boba... And, and Reese and Jillian get boba teas often, but I've never got one. And I've always been sort of weirded out by, like, the boba balls and stuff, right? And so lately, I've been more curious. I've been a little more outgoing. And, and seeing this one at Baskin-Robbins, it's got brown sugar boba balls, which I'm brown sugar, maple brown sugar. That's, like, one of my favorite anythings, right? Like, oatmeals, pancakes, like, anythings. And so I was like, I kept saying, like, we should try that. We should try that. Well, and after a few visits and not opting to try it, we were like, let's try it. And they're like, oh, we're sorry, we're out of the balls. Or, oh, we're sorry, we're out of this. And so three or four times they were out and we wanted to try it. And so the last time they were out, we decided to go to the other location, which is not far at all. It's like, like a mile and a half away. And so we drove to the other one and they're like, oh, yeah, we got it. And we're like, how are they? And they're like, you know, we've never tried one. We, we make these a lot but we've never tried one. So we, I couldn't tell you. And so this girl starts making it and she's like using a recipe book 
to make it, right? So we're like confident that like, okay, maybe she's not used to making this or maybe it's her first time or whatever. She's following instructions and making this. And, and they, like we had this big talk with her and, and all this. And she's like, oh my God, guys, I totally hope you enjoy it. We're like, cool, cool, cool. So we leave and we get in the car. And as I'm taking my first sip, like, you know how your senses will pick up on stuff? Like your, your nose will smell something or you'll taste it before it actually hits your lips and tongue. That happened. And I almost vomited, like almost instantly vomited. And I was like, and Julian was like, what, what's wrong? It's not good. And I was like, I, I am not a fan. And, and I had one of those stupid balls in my mouth and it just like popped. And it was not brown sugar. I'll tell you that it was not brown sugar. I don't know what it was, but it was not tasty at all. Like, like, like I out the window, like I couldn't hack it. It was disgusting. And my wife took a sip and was like, nope. So now we're like, wait a minute. This is supposed to be a creamy, sugary, sweet drink. And this was like, it was almost like I took a tea bag, an unflavored tea bag, and was like chewing on it or something. It was, it, it, there was something else there too. I couldn't figure it out, but it was not good at all. And, and I brought her home and Reese, Reese loves everything. And he likes tea. He likes iced tea, Arizona teas, all these different teas. And he took one sip of it and was like, what'd you do to it? And I was like, see, I, I wasn't sure if it was me or if it was the drink. So now we're like, oh my God, are they any good or are not? Yes, but they're filled, raised. They're, they come filled. And, and, and so like, they sort of explode in your mouth. Giggity. I, listen, it looks so like, like an iced coffee. It looks sweet and yummy and, and creamy. That is, I would not use any of those words to describe what we got. So I still don't know if I got, like, now I'm, I'm like, never going to have another boba tea in my life because of that experience. But I don't know if it's a fair, right? Like, I don't know if it's a fair test of what it really was. It could have been. Nice. You got bad balls. It wasn't just the balls, though, dude. It was like everything about it tasted like, like, like I said, like it was like a, just nothing but tea, but it like wasn't a good tea. It wasn't a soft tea. It wasn't a sweet tea. It was like, like a really gross, like, I mean, it almost tasted like it was freaking poisonous or something. Like it was gross. Like I will never, uh-uh. And, and, you know, I have this weird thing, too. I, I think I've mentioned this before. Like, there are certain times where a certain flavor will just get stuck on my taste buds. And, and I, I mean, I can, I can eat anything, brush my teeth. I can do all these things, and it'll just be, like, in my sinuses. Like, I can just taste it. And I'm sure it has something to do with, like, whatever problems I have with sinus infections and stuff like that, too. But, like... It is not good. And of course, I took one little sip, spit out most of it, and I had that flavor on my palate for like a day and a half, two days. Like I woke up the next day and, and stuff still tasted and smelled like that. And I have no idea why. Like it's weird. My mom says she experiences things like that too, or, or used to, and then her sniffer just quit working. She can't smell anything anymore. So I, I, I'm probably destined for something similar. Talk about bad batch. Yeah, I don't know what, it, like, it could have been the way she prepared it. It could have been, I mean, like, uh, oh, so so here's another thing. Like, here's another example. When I was younger, I, I, I mean, this is no shame on anybody else, but I'm not proud to say I used to chew. Like, I smoked for a long time, too. Again, no disrespect to anybody who might chew or smoke or whatever. You, you do you. But, but I used to, when I was like 17, 18 years old, I worked at a golf course that my grandfather was on the, the board of directors and, and was a member of and all this stuff, right? And so when I worked on the greens crew, I couldn't exactly be out there smoking cigarettes, but I had nicotine withdrawals. And so I would get those little packets of chew. Uh, I didn't do well with like the, the loose stuff. So I'd get the little, I think they were skull bandits, I think is, I don't even know if they make those anymore. Um, 
but I'd get these little like minter green, right? Like they were like a mint winter green mix. And that's sort of like what, like the aftertaste of the chewing tobacco, not necessarily the sweet mint, but like the aftertaste of the two is what that drink tasted and reminded me of. And the, the flavor that I had on my palate for a day and a half, it was gross. So I haven't bought my tickets yet, but I, I'm planning on going to see a movie in the theater, you guys. And, and I, I think my mods figured it out, but I don't think nobody else figured it out what movie it is. Georgia theme park. Hey, uh, Farmer Mike just went to a theme park. Uh, there's one called uh, Silverwood in Coeur d'Alene, Idaho. And Mike just went there. In fact, he probably just got back late last night. It was his his longtime girlfriend's daughter's 16th birthday. So they took her to Silverwood to this crazy park and absolutely had a blast from my understanding. So he was up in your neck of the woods, Razor, sort of. Um, he stayed in Spokane for reasons that don't need to be discussed. Oh my God, what is happening? <laughs> Okay, I was legit stuck for a second there. Ooh wee! That's right, you did used to live in Spokane. Yeah, I, I went there when I was like 12 years old. I didn't know that at the time. So funny enough, I used to live in an apartment complex right down the road from here for like three or four years. And, and Mike used to come see me and hang there and it was Silverwood Apartments. And so Mike texts me the other day and he's like, yeah, brother, I'm out to Silverwood. I'll see you in a few days. And I'm like, Silverwood's like two blocks from me, bro. Like, what do you mean you're going? He's like, no, Silverwood in Idaho. I was like, I got no idea what that is. He's like, it's a theme park. And I was like, oh, I've been to a theme park before in Coeur d'Alene. He's like, that's the one, it's Silverwood. I was like, oh, really? I don't know that it was called that then or I don't remember it being called. I remember they used to have a gyro though. When I went, they had a gyro, and I did one of those things when I was, again, like 12, 13 years old. My dad was playing in the Spokane Open, uh, a tournament, a golf tournament that's held up there like every year. And uh, we went up there with another, uh, with one of his buddies. I, I think it was Mark Tunstall and his wife, I think. I, that's weird that I remember that. I haven't even said that name and probably since we went to Coeur d'Alene, but uh, I'm pretty sure that's who it was. And uh, they played golf in the day, and then we, after we got done golfing, we went to the, the thing. I, I would hang out at the hotel with Mark's wife and or go caddy, and uh, then we'd go to the theme park or the whatever wild. It was like a water park basically, but they had other stuff too. And I don't know why. I mean, it's cool, but I'm really surprised he didn't go to Wild Waves. Like I'm pretty sure he drove right by Wild Waves in Tacoma to get. To Coeur d'Alene, I mean, maybe you take a different highway and cut off, but um, like Wild Waves has bungee jumping, they have roller coasters, they have bumper boats, they have the Lazy River, they got all that stuff, and they got the comfort rules and laws of Washington that Idaho doesn't have. So, you know, I wondered why he didn't go, and it's probably cheaper too. Wild Lives is awesome. In fact, I, I want to take Reese there this summer. I have no idea if he wants to go do something like that, but yeah, I, I, my mom used to take me there every year. And then as an adult, I went there a handful of times too. Um, one time, like a dummy, when I was like 19, um, I was hanging out with a couple of my friends and we decided to go there and things got delayed and things got delayed and we didn't get out of town until like, I don't remember what time it was. It was like 1130 or 12 o'clock. And then we, we got there at like, you know, 2.30, 2, 2.20, 2.30. And they wouldn't sell us tickets because I guess they don't sell tickets in the last hour of the park being open or whatever. And we were like, are you kidding me? We just drove two and a half hours to get here and it's closed. The lady let us in for free. And we got to go in and, and it was only like 90 minutes until like they kicked us out or something like that. But um, like, it was crazy. Like they, they didn't sell tickets in the last couple hours or whatever it was. I don't remember the rules, but 
I just remember being like devastated. We drove all the way up here. Uh, and one of the girls I went with like didn't really want to be there because I, I don't remember the circumstance, but like one of our other friends bailed on us. And I think she was wanting to hang out with him and he didn't get to go. And so it was just three of us. She was kind of the third wheel, but also the driver. It's kind of funny. But yeah, that, that was a fun place. I've been there. I've probably been there seven or eight times. Um, would definitely do that again at some point. I mean, it's crazy, though, too. Like, the one thing I don't like about those parks is, like, the slides, you often have to wait in line, like, 20, 30 minutes. And then the slide itself is, like, 90 seconds. <laughs> Uh, some of the good ones are like, you know, a minute and a half, two minutes, three minutes. But some of them are like straight shot, straight down, and you gotta wait 20 minutes to get on that. It's crazy. Nice. Yeah, I don't think I have any merch from there. Uh, Mark, HTG Mark lives in Tacoma, and uh, his work, well, his old work, he used to work for a, uh, a delivery company, so they delivered like sodas and beers and all sorts of stuff. And every year they'd run a promo, uh, Wild Waves would, with like, I think it was Mountain Dew was the co-sponsor. And so they'd get these like 32 ounce Mountain Dew cups that you could buy while you were at Wild Waves. And then they'd give you like, you know, $3 off, $5 off or whatever uh, on different passes. And, um, you know, Mark would, I mean, he'd get cases of those things, right? And he'd have to fill them up. And, and so he, he'd... <laughs> He'd be like, you need a pass? I got you. So, uh, but that was a long time ago. Yeah, in fact, uh, Mark and I were just kind of chatting the other day. I, I, I might be uh, making a run up there, at least for a day or a night. Wifey and I might go up and see. Because Jillian's good friends with Mark's wife, Debbie. And we love D too, who's like the the... I don't want to say the third wheel. That's not the case at all. But the third entity of that dynamic. Um, and there's a place in Tacoma that I absolutely love. It's just like a little novelty hole in the wall burger joint called Frisco Freeze. You've probably heard of it. Maybe not. It's kind of like an In-N-Out. But like, like 50s or 60s diner style where like, like you sort of sit outside and eat and it's like a little hot dog stand almost kind of a thing. I mean, it's like a food cart almost, but like it's that small, right? There's no indoor dining or anything. Uh, mostly drive up and, and uh, but it's just good. They make some good milkshakes and uh, their burgers are delicious. They crisp their buns too. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Nice. Uh, my sis will be in tomorrow. That's cool. I might be at some point in the next few weeks, too. I, I still haven't got my car back. I dropped it off on Wednesday and was supposed to hear from Brent last night, but I haven't heard from him, so... I don't want to put any pressure on him or anything, so I haven't called or texted, but uh, I'm hoping I hear from him at some point today. He has a... a, a, a full-time job that he works like uh, Monday through Wednesday I think but not full-time but whatever he does is Monday Tuesday Wednesday and I think he works 12-hour days and then he's got um, you know Thursday Friday Saturday Sunday off whoa there's some weird ground here because I'm like same throttle but not moving the same at all Yeah, it's been really weird not having my car for, I mean, almost a week. Wednesday will be a week. I think my neighbor up behind us here, their house is like towers over our driveway. Um, and they have like big windows all over, uh, you know, from the kitchen, living room, bedroom, computer room. And uh, like I spent a bunch of time cleaning the car last week before I took it to him. And, uh, and then I took a bunch of photos of it 
just sort of documenting what it looked like as is and you know so i could check and also just like you know other things too like just documenting making sure that it's all there and no other dings or scratches or things come back right or um and, and so i took like 15 20 pictures of my car and then the next day we we took it and dropped it off and it's been gone since so you know and, and i saw him see me washing and i saw him see me taking photos so i keep waiting for him to be like hey did you sell your gti um because he's he's definitely always appreciated volkswagens he he uh used to have one back in his you know earlier days he actually has a bmw ev now it's a nice little i don't know what the model number is but it's a uh, it's like almost like one of those little smart cars but it's a little bigger than that uh that's super cool so uh we'll be ev bros here soon <laughs> maybe the uh process hasn't changed for our reservation yet either we still still in phase one still active still waiting for phase two to happen i'm not sure i know there's a chip shortage and the plants are running slower than usual and obviously we're not the first group to, to reserve an id4 i'm sure there's lots of other people that have uh we're just hoping we fit into that federal and state kickback those rebates because um you know, if so many people buy, then we won't qualify for necessarily all of the rebates. And that could potentially change our desire to want to buy a $52,000 car. You know, if we're getting a $52,000 car for 15000 off because of the rebates, then guess what? It's not a $52,000 car anymore. But if we end up paying like 50000 for a car... Uh, I don't know. We, we don't know what we'll do yet. We, we don't know what, like, the magic number is that's the deal breaker for us. But um, I, I want to call the the guy that we test drove with and everything. But he's not going to have really any specific information about our thing. I, I guess he might be able to look up our confirmation number and see, like, how far out. But I, he's not going to be able to know much more than that other than maybe some some basics. Like, well, most people are getting it, you know. But it's been uh, over two months now. It's been like maybe nine weeks, ten weeks since we uh, reserved our ID4. Hey, hey, what up, Rob? Did I see Matt slide in a minute ago, too? I think I did, and I was talking, and I forgot to say hey. Does that mean both Preston bros are here? Is that true? All right, so I almost got this main chunk done, but you can tell there's still like a large portion on the backside or over in the corner there, because we're only 60%. I, I'm guessing I'll be close to 70 by the time I get this whole area c -c 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 complete. Yep, it's true. Woo! Ah, got a little off track there. A little. <laughs> oh, whoa. But yeah, uh, you know, back to the kayaking talk. You know, wife and I really enjoyed that. Uh, we, You know, we had our tunes playing. We were just chilling. Ironically, so I, I don't think I shared this with any of you guys. May, maybe I posted it somewhere. I don't think I did, though. Um, so I think I mentioned my wife took a new job last year and was working at a middle school in a different school district, which was quite a bit further than where she had been. Um, loved it. And they're expanding the program that she basically helped start. And um, the program is now going to the high schools. And they're like, listen, we want experienced people doing the high school stuff. So if you have any interest, you should apply. So she applied and she had her interview and she got called for the job. And so she's been like trying to figure out like, do I go, do I stay? And part of the reason why she's not really gearing up to stay is because 
her whole team at the middle school is all leaving. They're all going to different positions at different high schools or moving on to different districts. Or I think one of them is actually retiring. Um, and then her two administrators that were basically her bosses, they both left too. So the kids are ultimately going to still be there. But most of the staff has changed. All of her team for behavior specialty and stuff is all gone. Her admin all gone. So, like, there's not a lot of, like, incentive to stay. And they asked her to move on. So she's been, like, kind of torn. Like, do I stay or do I go? Well, she found out one of her team members that she really enjoyed. She went on that trip to Tacoma. Um, you remember not long ago. And, and she really just hit it off with this gal. And so she's got, like, a work buddy. Well, the work buddy was leaving the middle school and found out she's going to the high school. And so she was, like, super excited to find out that, like, you know, one of her closer friend and peoples that she's met while working there is now also going to be working at the high school that she's been offered the job at. And so that was really cool. So she's excited. She's like, oh, my God, this girl is so awesome. Da, 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 da. We're out kayaking in the middle of this lake. And she's like, oh, my God, that's her. I'm like, that's who? And she's like, oh, my God. And she's like, she's like pointing. And this girl's like pointing back. But the girl's face is not showing any sign that she recognizes us. And so I'm like super uncomfortable. And my wife's like, hey. And the gal's like, hey. <laughs> Again, not in a like, hey. Like, it was just like, hey. So I'm like, babe, I don't think that's her. And this, and this, and meanwhile, my wife's just paddling like crazy behind me, pushing us towards these two women, right? Who she believes one of them is her friend. We get right up on them and she's like, hey, girl. And, and, and they go, hey, girl. And it was her. I'm like, you're freaking kidding me. We're in the middle of a lake in a town, not, not even in Salem. We're out in Turner, which is like out in the country. And, um, Sure enough, so we got I got to meet her coworker that she's been talking about for days. Like how random. Like that's crazy to me. But super cool too. But yeah, so we got lots to figure out and all that, but like like I said, like we will definitely be going out. She's already asked me like, "Hey, Tuesday if it's it's supposed to be nice, do you want to go on Tuesday?" I'm like, "Maybe." We both got blisters like I mentioned, so we're kind of waiting to see how well we heal from that because Last thing we want is like blister on a blister. That's the worst. The worster. What is up with one month gift members? I, I don't know what you, you keep asking that. I don't I don't even know what you're talking about, Michael. Are you asking about like YouTube? Like HTG memberships? Like what do you get for being a member? Is that is that the question? If it is, I'm happy to answer that. I, I just I'm not sure if that's if you're asking for I mean could be anything, right? So um, but yeah, memberships get you uh, PTM pedal too much. <laughs> um, memberships get you access to a custom badge that shows how long you've been a supporter as a member. Those change. Uh, you get one month. What is it? One month, two month, five month, no, six months, one year, two year. It's been a while since I had to explain it, but. Uh, it's weird increments, but it definitely gives you as you go along. And you also get access to custom emojis that can be used on stream chats or on any comments that you post on videos. Which I don't see a lot of people using like Thumbies and Drexes or anything like that, but I do see them sometimes. Get goods, get posted every once in a while too. I need to get rid of that one. <laughs> yeah. It's quite possible, Chacho. I wouldn't take it personal though. Hey, uh, question again, guys. Are uh, I know that some of you had sort of expressed a displeasure with, like, ads happening every, like, 10, 15 minutes or whatever, like, consistently. Is that still happening? Or was that sort of specific to that one stream? Is it, like, again, any feedback would be helpful. Like, you know, I've got it set, and, and I've got a couple of different settings that go, that get applied for each scenario or whatever you want to call it. Um... And in theory, they should be roughly every half hour, but it doesn't always end up being on the half hour. Sometimes we start late or whatever, right? So sometimes it gets out of sync. So they'll be at like the 10 or the 15 after instead of zero and 30 or 
But as long as they're consistently like a half an hour apart, um, that's the goal. And, and like I said, it's sort of like a, I don't know, an algorithm of sorts. Because I check a bunch of boxes, right? Like, it's like, do you want this kind? Do you want that kind? Do you want how... Do, 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 do. And, and I know there's ways that one can go and like specifically set, like, you can like upload even a file. Like, I know that network partners make these files and, and like set ad time and intervals and types and like and, and honestly i'm sure i could maximize revenue if i were to do something like that and have you know ads every 10 minutes or something but as you guys know uh, I, you know i prefer them to be there like it helps we need them to survive um but i don't want them to be like the main entree right like i want you guys to feel unintruded and and um like you're like you're getting to enjoy it, not having to clear ads every five minutes. Because I know as a viewer, I hate that, right? Same with like merchandise. Like part of the reason why I don't have a ton of merchandise is because most of the places you go to get merchandise made, it's too expensive. Now you can order them and, and I can stock a bunch and then do the shipping and pay and do all that. But that's so much work and effort. So it's worth it to go with those companies that do the direct order shipping and everything. That So I never see any of the product unless I order it for myself but in those cases like t-shirts end up being 40 45 bucks almost always and 45 dollars for a freaking t-shirt with thumby on it is way too much in my opinion which is why I had the, the the settings and everything that I did for so long but sadly that that's not an option anymore so uh and, and my merch I think my store I, I actually keep forgetting to fix that I think the merch might still be linked in places and available which it's not active so um, let's see here I've had a few that were five to ten minutes apart and, and today that's today you have interesting I mean in theory you know maybe one when everybody showed up and maybe one should have I mean in theory but again I, I only have so much control over some of it. Yeah, if you leave the stream and come back, it'll always display one at the beginning. Uh, that That's definitely a, a thing. But the intervals, you know... Yeah, I guess if you are, like, leaving the stream and coming back, you probably would see more, right? But, I mean, if you're just staying here, that's where I'm wondering, like, if it's force-feeding you, like a lot of ads or so I might need to check some things they may have updated something and my defaults may be like super aggressive or something too yeah I'm not not as worried about the precision of them more of the frequency right like even if they miss one or they're behind or whatever like I, I'd rather it be too little than too many <laughs> yeah, well, I, I mean, hopefully they're, I mean, sounds to me like it's not a problem for you, though, Kirsten, which is good, right? Like, if, you, if you're not aware, then it's probably not a bother, which is good. That's, that's the goal. Like, obviously, ads are going to be there. They need to be for me to survive. But, uh, you know, just as long as they're not, like, super aggressive and intrusive. Ooh, I'm going to need to fill her up. Ooh. Ooh, I'm gonna do my blade real quick too. And this is taking a heck of a lot longer than I thought it would. I got that 20% done quick, but. A lot of them last week. That's interesting. Because last week wasn't even the week that we had the talk, it was the week before, wasn't it? Because I didn't even stream on Friday. And Wednesday was man eater. I don't remember that being problematic. Again, I might be wrong on that too, but uh, I was just checking back on that because I hadn't heard anything in a minute. But yet, uh, I'm, but I'm hoping that ads are actually running too. You know what I mean? Um, I wonder. You don't get ads at all, Chacho, during the stream? Like, you haven't gotten one since you've been watching? Well, what's this? It said opt-in for the chance to get... Have a... 
Well, where do you see... Where are you seeing that, Michael? Opt in for the chance to get Happy Thumbs Gaming one month gift membership and access to exclusive perks. Is that when you click to join? Or when is that? I, 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 again, I'm not... I, I guess you're talking about us, but... Uh, you know, like the badges that you get next to your name, like you can see them next to Raised's and, and Kirsten's and, and many others out there too. You know, the, the emojis that you get are about to be shown. Boom. So those are all the emojis that are currently available. I haven't actually even thought about changing any, anything in a while. What the crap? Why did it just die? All right. There we go. All right. Too little power. Happened today in chat, huh? Weird. And so YouTube is suggesting that you become a member in the chat now, too? Again, also new to me. Did not know that it would do that. Hey, what up, Wreckers? Welcome to the stream. So yeah, the, uh, I think I told you guys a while back, the kayak that my wife wants and thinks that we should both get is like $1,100. They got them at Costco right now. We need to find out their return policy because they are a little bit cheaper through Costco. I think they're like a $1,000. Um, and, and, and my worry is, is that we're going to get them and not like them and then be stuck with them and then have a hard time selling them for even remotely close to what we paid for. Uh, we really enjoyed it. I could see us doing that a lot more. Um, and, and I would love to include Drex. And I would also like to be... I mean, there's part of me that's like, we need to be separate kayaks but there's also part of me that's like no being in the same one is better because like we can share the music like and all i mean we can tether ourselves together you know but one of us will end up like towing the other one around or something it'd likely be me and surprisingly like neither of us really struggled with like muscle fatigue or anything like we we kind of nailed it um Minus the blisters, like we we did pretty good. Like it's definitely a, an enjoyable activity. Like you can paddle, 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 and then just like coast for like thirty seconds. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like it's fun. If you guys haven't tried kayaking, I highly recommend it. You know we have a Drex emoji. I would like a cutie emoji. Interesting. I probably could make that happen. I gotta find like. A really good photo of her like yawning or something so it looks like she's like ah! <laughs> you know what I mean <laughs> I mean because Drex has the infamous tongue out right like because he always has his tongue out his tongue's like too big for his mouth I swear I mean when he's chilling and he's awake and running around and like just normal every but as soon as he starts like getting lazy or laying around or sleeping or something it hangs out a good half an inch to an inch minimum pretty hilarious my wife has like you, you know how they do like those uh, collages of pictures and, and like a bunch of little tiny pictures will make up I think it's like a pictogram or so I don't remember what they call them but um, my wife's been taking photos of him since he was you know brand new and uh, at some point she wants to do one of those where so it's like hundreds of little pictures that make up a big picture, right? <laughs> yeah, I'm sure I could probably muster up a cutie emoji, and I'm pretty sure we have at least one open spot right now. And if I don't, I can definitely get rid of the ash can, because the ash can, I, I, don't, I don't even say that anymore. That was like such an early stream statement. Always stay hydrated, A-S-H, ash, the ash can. I was also working on my vectoring skills, learning to draw, and that can was one of my first things, and then I put the thumbie on it and did it. So it like seemed like a good concept for an emote, but 
definitely can switch it up if need be. So keep in mind, um, I do believe that we will have one more Moen Mondays before we take a small break from it. And we are going to jump from one simulator to another. Now, that is if my information is correct. I do believe on the 16th that Power Washing Simulator is going to be available on Game Pass for Xbox. And if it's not, I'll probably keep playing this until it shows up. But I also have a nice game to switch to, which we've already talked about. But because I think it's the 16th as well, um, Stray comes out. So we'll be jumping from, you know, man eater to wend strays. Ah, wend strays. <laughs> now I don't know how many weeks the game will last. There is a trophy, if I'm working for the Platinum, that expects you to beat the game in two hours. It is considered to be a speed run trophy, but the fact that the game can be beaten in two hours tells me that the storyline itself and the actual objectives are pretty minimal. Uh, now there's exploring to be done. Obviously you got a backpack that needs to be filled with collectibles and goodies. I, there's a couple of weird trophies, like you have to meow a hundred times. You have to jump like 500 times. There's only like 19 trophies or something minimal. I don't remember what the list is, but the, I've seen the list. The list looks pretty doable, but it also looks like a very indie game, which I was kind of expecting it to be larger. I, I, I Maybe they'll expand on it with DLC. Um, I don't know. I, I, regardless, it still looks really fun, and I'm excited for it. I just don't know. I, I was expecting like... 10 streams or more out of it, right? And I think I'm going to get somewhere between 3 and 4 would be my guess. I might get more. It might be less. But we'll see. You know, I mean, how many collectibles there are, I have not looked into that detail. I just know that there are some things that need to be found. Um, and speaking of which, like, I, I have not really had a chance to play Ghostwire Tokyo off stream. That may come back at some time, too. Like, I really... I don't know why I just loved the gameplay of that game. And I don't think you guys liked it as much as I did, but I don't think you guys hated it either. It was sort of unique in a lot of ways, but had some qualities of other games that I think stood out, too. Like, I, I felt like some of it was sort of infamous-like. Um, which I'd love to replay through those again. I just don't think there's a way for me to do it without, you know... You know I don't think there's a new trophy list, I guess. It would be fun to play through the game and story again, but to also unlock the trophies and chase platinum. I know that there was some grindy stuff, like taking out some of the the checkpoints and things like that, but I platinum to both. Like, those, those were games that I 100 percented early. Um, I love those games. My, my buddy Mike, who lives in Canada, not, not Farmer, but BHU, um, BHU and I played the crap out of those games. And we used to, so this was back before PlayStation had party chat. And so we both had PlayStation, we had PlayStation portables and PlayStation Vitas. I don't remember which one it was at the time, but we would hop on and get in a party chat with whatever game or whatever, right? Cause you could be in a game with other people. I think, it, I think we used to use, uh, God, what was the name of that Vita game? It was like, uh, I got it right there. It's hiding behind my TV, though. I can't see it. It's like not Project 11. It was like, uh, it was made by Z Zipper Interactive, I think. Either Zipper or Slant 6, one of the SOCOM developers. I think it was Zipper. Now it's bugging me. What the crap was the name? Uh, there it is right there. I can see it. Unit 13. That was a fun game. I think we used to get in the game party chat, and then we would hop onto our PlayStation, so, but then use a headset from the, the PSP or the Vita to talk to each other. Um, and, and we'd sit there and just go through all sorts of stuff. Uh, you know, where to find this bowl upgrade or whatever, right? Like, that was a fun game. I, I really liked that series. I know they had the second son, and, and I'm pretty sure I played in Platinum that. Very different. Not the same game. Like, it was cool, sort of reminiscent of, but definitely a different game. Definitely not the same infamous feel. 
But at the same time, that was one of the earlier games that had that repetitive, like, you know, you had to take out this checkpoint and that checkpoint and blah, 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 blah. But I did like the fact, too, that, like, you had to do good stuff to be good and bad stuff to be bad. And, like, you could play the game differently. That was really cool. What up, Trev? The sinking feeling, huh? Nice. It's oldie but goodie. You guys know I'm coming up on 3,000, like, 800 videos total. I mean, that includes streams and uploads, and that goes all the way back. So that's not necessarily all been done by me. You know, Jeremy had a handful of videos. Mark did a handful. You know, Doug did some. You know, Mal's done some. Like, we definitely have some other videos contributed by other people besides me. But the channel itself, you know, and, and it's funny how many people don't know a lot of our playlists and, and projects exist. Like, for example, recently, I, I, I've noticed an uptick in retweets and likes from a particular viewer. I, 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 I'm not going to mention the name or anything, but, but you know, I don't know if it would embarrass her. But regardless, I've noticed that. And one of her retweets led to, I think think one of her friends who followed us but didn't know we had a Twitter and so she commented like oh my gosh I'm gonna follow them immediately I didn't know they had a Twitter they've been so helpful and so she's been tweeting a bunch of stuff too um, where was I going with this I had a story in Endgame for this um, well for one she won gamer of the week somewhere which I thought was a cool concept um, where was that? oh yeah she posted that she was going to be playing South Park, The Stick of Truth. And she'd never played it before. We actually covered that game. I made videos on the Chin Pokemon collectible cards. Got to get them all, got to get them all. Um, and, and, you know, other trophy achievements too, right? I posted our playlist and she was, I was like, hey, just in case you need some help along the way, we covered this game to an extent, you know, because it's not a full crazy but it is kind of a walkthrough. We do all the collectibles. And, and and those collectibles, there was not chapter select to go back. I'm not sure if they ever fixed that and updated it to, so you could. But in the beginning, you could miss one Chin Pokemon card and have to play the game all over again to that point of the game to get that card. Because you couldn't go back. So I just mentioned that. To, and she was so grateful. So it's like there are so many playlists that we have that people don't even know we made. Which is kind of a bummer. Like we're known for Lego. But I mean, if people knew we had the Last of Us Part 2 playlist or the Last of Us Part 1, right? Like there's a remaster coming out. I bet you many, 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 many people will be looking for a guide for that game to replay it again or to play it for the first time. But nobody will use ours or very minimal people. Um, trust me, I'm going to start spamming the crap out of those links when it's time. But like, you know, there's a lot of games that are potential useful playlists that we've covered that people just don't even know. And, and I don't know how to change that other than, like I said, spamming links, right? Um, you can miss her. So maybe they changed it. When the game came out, there was things that you could not miss. And you could not go back and get them either. Uh, you had to replay all the way through. And, and, and maybe even, I, I don't know if it was a new save or not. Granted, we covered that game when it released, which was probably like seven, six, seven years ago, eight years ago. It's probably a long time ago. Um, we never played the second one. Uh, I, I have it. I've never even played it. You know, it's one of those games that, like, I've always kind of questioned, like, would I find myself getting reported and in trouble again, like the Grand Theft Auto stuff, if I played something like that? Or the Quarry, too, falls into that. Like, I'm just... Ugh. You know what I mean? And, and one video of something or two videos of something isn't going to necessarily take the channel away from me, but, you know, I'd hate to have to, like, completely change my life because I played a video game that somebody didn't like that got me canceled, right? That'd be the worst. Yeah, I know lots of people who have played the second one, and they all recommend it. I just have never got to it. I sort of fell off on South Park a while ago. Like, I don't hate it, but I I don't really watch it. We, we were watching a couple episodes here and there, trying to catch Reese up, and thought maybe I would get back into it. But he would rather not hang out with us, so we don't watch a lot of stuff that, these days. And when we do, it's not South Park, right? Like, we watch other things that 
are newer or more beneficial to us as a family or group. Yeah, I still have the, uh, I have the Stick of Truth Collector's Edition unopened. So I, I pre-ordered it. It had Cartman, a big Cartman in the wizard suit, right? Um, and, and I thought, you know what, this is, wow, I have this much left and it's complete? Um, I was like, oh, this is going to be worth money. I'm not going to open it. So I've still got one unopened for PS3. And I'm like looking on eBay and seeing for like, 50 bucks brand new and I think I paid like 80 or 100 for it so it's like that was not an investment that made me any money I won't sell it for a loss at this point I'll just keep it for like putting it up on my you know gamer room whenever we uh, end up in our house or whatever I suppose I could bounce out now because I don't need to totally finish this but I'm a completionist I like to get it 100% uh, let's see here. They're actually making another South Park game, but they aren't using Ubisoft. I sold the Paramount. Yeah, like, huh. I don't even... It's funny. It's been so long. I don't even remember those games being Ubi. I totally believe it, but I don't remember that at all about them. Um, I couldn't have told you who devved or published. Interesting fact, though. All right, so let's all cross our fingers. I chose a mission for my employee that was pretty high. It was like 250 RP or 300 RP or something like that. And I mean, if he only needed a smidge, I would think that would be enough. So I'm hoping that we get a bling from zero to hero. So here's mine and here's his. So can I get a bling? Employee experience level increased. Max Walters increased level to expert. That should be it. Booyaka shall. All right. Okay. Whew. Feeling better about that one. Definitely. Hi, Chad. Welcome to the family. Oh, we got a new subscriber. Chad, thanks for the sub. Welcome to the channel. Hopefully you enjoy our content. Ah, that's why I didn't hear it. My uh, pooter is moodered. Pooter is moodered. All right. So, um... Okay, so I've been working on that trophy almost exclusively for quite a while now. So let's just take a quick peek and and see which ones. Okay, so I only need one more trophy for, for this one, and it's complete all four Ancient Britain challenges. Apparently, that was not it that I just did. So maybe we've done three. Again, it's not tracking, so that's fun. Uh, Dino Safari, I need to find collectibles on a few... Uh, the T-Rex paddock, I need to find. Um, there's also another one. What was this the one? Yeah, don't go into the long grass. I, is that a quote from Jurassic Park? Complete an overgrown contract on the raptor paddock. So I think I've been to the raptor paddock once while I was playing a uh, a litter mission. I don't think I've been. A, so, uh, so career, I've got 50. I'm literally... 50% here, 100 contracts. I'm almost, so I, I mean, that's pretty cool knowing when you look at the save file of the game, it says five contracts. So I don't know what that means. That's not very reassuring. Actually, that's not true, Cosmic. You can track up to five trophies on your own. So I can go to this trophy and I can start tracking it, right? And when I track it, it keeps it on a special list specific to what I'm looking for if I want to track stuff. Now, in this case, I don't want any of them. I don't use that feature. But it does track my progress for most of the trophies that are accumulative. Not all of them. And I still don't know why some do and some don't. But as you can see here, boom, 66% of one of every kind. 50% of 100 miles. So I've driven 50 miles. And it's not because I'm tracking them using the tracker. It's because I'm the game tracks that progress. Sort of like a, the Xbox tracks the achievement progress as well. Something that they've been doing for a long time. And I'm glad to see that Sony has finally caught up in that regard. Um, but back to what I need. So let's see here. Own all original mowers. So I, I think one of my next big goals 
that's money related is going to be like HQ stuff. Uh, well, that might be because you're playing PS4 games on the PS5. So it has to be a PS5 game. And you can tell up in the top. Let's see here. Let's go home. So you can see PS5 lawnmower. And then here's a good example. I got PS5 version of Star Wars and the PS4 version of Star Wars. Now, when I come here and look at trophies, it won't show me any percentage progress of these. But if I actually go to this tab and go down to this guy, it will or should. Yeah, there you go. 28 percent. Uh, you know, so again, not all of them do. So like in this case, complete all events on Coruscant, Jakku and that should be tracking. But maybe I haven't done any there yet, but I know that I've done some fully upgrade all the character classes. I, I'm I've done quite a few of the core, but I haven't done any of the Jedi or the hero or the villain or the extra. I haven't done any of those, but you'd think there'd be progress there, too. So, again, some of them it tracks while others it doesn't. Right. That's interesting. And I, I would love to ask Sony that or find out the answer if somebody knows it. Uh, but yeah, so, but if you are playing a PS4 game, it will not track at all that percentage. But if it's PS5, it kind of depends on the game and the trophy. Let's see here. We don't want to. Oh, well, I uh, know. Let's not back out because I don't want to miss anything that I might not have uh, saved. All right. So let's go ahead and buy my adverts for the day because we're working up. We're professional rank number four. And we're almost to five. And once we fill up five, then it goes to the next one that's like uh, expert or something. And, and, um, specialist, I think, is the next one. And then it goes to expert. There's two more. So I have 10 more levels that I have to go, or 11, I guess. Uh, but that shouldn't be a problem. I just got to keep on, keep on mowing. What's this one? All right, Pub Garden. So this is another ancient one. And I've definitely mowed this guy before. Uh, must You must sign an employee boot. Okay, yeah, yeah, that's cool. Um, let's see here. Let's go. Do I have a litter contract or two? That'd be fun to do a couple of those. So this one is going to be a striped contract. It doesn't say it up there. It is a striped contract, but it doesn't say. I wish it would. I wish this one would just frig off because I'm not going to do that anytime soon. Uh, we'll put Buddy on this one. And then where's a shorty? Shorty for me. Oh, there is. <laughs> be cool if I could do a couple of these. I mean, I don't, half an hour is a long time to just kill a couple of these, but love to do like, I don't know, 10 back-to-back -back litter contracts. It's cool that I've gained as much ground on my um, driving progress as I have. I mean, 50% is quite a bit. Um, and this is one of the OG maps, too. So there's a possibility that there could be a uh, hidden item here. A valuable, if you will. That's the thing, though. There's a trophy for getting all of the valuables returned. I didn't even know that the base game had valuables until I got the DLC. And then got a trophy on the base game for getting a DLC valuable. So, sadly, I don't know which ones I have or have not got. Because I have gotten a few of them since I got the DLC on the main game. But I mean, usually they're, like, sitting on a bench. And they're sort of obvious. But not always. I don't even know if I can get in there. That'd be cool if I could, though. I'm certainly glad I don't have to uh, mow this area. This would be the worst. I feel like I might have gotten the one here. <laughs> oh, man. Listen, Michael, I know you're having a rough day or whatever, and you're trying, you're screaming for attention. You d Listen, we all, we all appreciate your time and, and, and support here. You don't need to be an ass to get attention. Like, seriously, I, I, this is the last time I'm going to ask. You're going to make the ban list if I have to say one more thing to you about any of our other members, mods, or people. So just know, Michael, this will be the last time sexy will be brought back in your case. 
because you always say that. That's like your staple comment. And if you want today's stream to be the last time that ever gets said or talked about or a possibility of that, then keep flapping, bro. Keep flapping. And at that same note, what up, Gray? Good to see you, broski. But enough's a friggin' enough, man. Jesus. How old are you? How old are you, dude? Because you're acting like you're five. Jesus. All right. Where's the last couple of pieces of trash? <laughs> uh, boy. Whoa. Thought there was one right there. We's good. So good that it hurts so bad. I'm sorry that it's making you mad. Be good, bro. Uh, blonde, yeah. <laughs> Gosh, where are the last couple pieces here? Normally I'm a pro at picking this stuff up. I'm a professional trash collector. I mean, I need three more. It's not like I'm on the last one. I need three more. All right, let's see if I can use my cheese, my draw distance cheese. Nothing over there. Oh, there's one right there. The cheese is good. Speaking of cheese, remember I told you my wife ordered all that cheese? We are almost through it. We've been like, cheese. It's the other white meat. <laughs> it's what's for dinner. <laughs> I swear we've been eating so much damn cheese. Oh, man, we fry up these bricks, these, like, these milk loafs, and um, put a little maple syrup on them. Oh, it's so good. Now, my wife did some exploring. She got different flavors, so we got, like, a roasted garlic one. It's pretty good. Maple on it, it's kind of questionable. Uh, it's just good by itself. She got a cheese pizza one. And, you know, we all were, like, kind of excited to try it. And it's cheese pizza, but it's, like... Weird, because there's no, like, crunch crust, and there's no, I don't know, and it's pretty spicy. Like, it's got, like, a lot of Italian spice. And, uh, like, we all took, like, two or three bites of it, and we're like, yeah, well, I think we're done. So we pitched it. We only ate, like, half of that log. Um, and we will likely um, probably give those other two ones away to, like, my brothers or something. I don't know. Uh because Reese didn't really care for it. He's been sort of, like, hating on the cheese. It, like, he's in this new phase where, like, everything that's not cool is called mids. Which is, like, an old school, like, hippie reference to weed. Like, that's the mids. It's not the goods. It's the mid-grade. And I don't know why. I mean, he's not a hippie. He's not a weed smoker or anything. So I don't know why mid, that term, is, like, such a popular term for the youth right now. Oh, that's just mids. That movie's mids. Oh, that show is cool, but it's really mid. You know, like... It's weird how things cycle back like that. But, uh... Facebook giveaway. What? What happened? I'm confused. So I can't find this last couple pieces here. There's probably, like, one little area that I've missed, like, every time I've ran around. Oh, the cheese. Facebook giveaway. <laughs> oh, bro. Hey, if it wasn't $20 and my left leg to send it to you, I'd send it to you. I know you love food. But I feel like it would probably cost me a lot to get you the, the, the Chez. And, and, you know, when they ship it to us, it comes in like this weird sort of... It's not refrigerated, but there's like an ice pack kind of thing in it. And it's got like this... Like a extra thicky cardboard wrap inside the box keep it insulated it's not on our front porch on like a 90 degree day for like an hour and a half so i don't know how like fresh or whatever it stayed but all right now i'm starting to get peeved it's taking me a long time to do this i feel like they're glitched out they're not even here are you even trash bro in theory when i'm struggling switching the direction of my run usually fixes everything Gotta just check so many spots, though. Got to check them all. Got to check them all. Boy, I was like, 
trying to kill 30 minutes or so with a couple of, of uh, litter contracts. And, uh, uh, man, there might not be much time needed to kill at this point. So let's see here. Do you see any distance glitches? I don't see nothing over there. Whoa. I hear Drek sneezing or something. Now I gotta order a cheese pizza. Ah. Hey, I wouldn't be against it if the wifey made some cheese and brought some up here. <laughs> Wait. Is that a piece right there? No. Come on, I swear I'm not doing this on purpose. I swear. Like, it's sort of ruining my reputation of being a... Uh, a good trash finder here. What up, my ninja? Let's try running up around these guys. I feel like. Hey, Gray, I rode in a Tesla this weekend that had ludicrous plus 760 horsepower all wheel drive. My bro Scott from my child. Hey, there's one of them. Here's one of them. My bro Scott has one. I, I, I want to go back up and do the GoPros with him. Like, he loves doing. Ah, here's the other one. Um, he loves his car. He loves play like it's funny, and of course he rubs it in my face. His car is like twice as fast as mine, and all wheel drive, so it actually takes off and goes somewhere. Zero to sixty in two point seven, two point six, something like that. Stupid, it's stupid fast. Like my other buddy Jason, he couldn't handle it. He said he made him made him sick. I don't mean to laugh at him, but. <laughs> All right. Got an email. Oh yeah, I keep waiting for Nam to show up. So, one of our mutual friends. It's really Nam's friend. We, we he used to be part of Five Hundred Three years ago. I haven't talked to him in a long time. He also dated Nam's twin sister for a while. Um, this dude's hilarious. He was Five Hundred Three Devo was his name. Um, <laughs> this morning he posted a picture of him fishing. Right. And he's got like this big, it looks like a, 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 like a Chinook salmon, maybe. I, I'm, I'm not very good with fish, so I, who knows? Um, might be a steelhead or something, too. But he says, uh, he just posts a picture of him holding up this fish that's like 18 in, you know, it's huge, two feet almost, right? Big fish, holding it up. And his buddy says, <laughs> so sounds like something Nam would say. Gotta be a fake picture. Last time we fished, you almost sank to the bottom of the river from a hole in your waders. <laughs> I can't wait to give him a bad time about that. Uh, just had an ad. So ads are 30 minutes apart for me right now. Okay. Okay, so right around the 30 mark. Okay. They're also going to vary a little bit for when people join. So it's not an exact science by any means. But, you know, having sort of an idea. like Like, I guess really... As long as you're not getting them, like, every 10 or 15 minutes or whatever, then then we're good. Um, Chacho, you might have, like, YouTube Premium or something. I don't know why you're not getting the ads. But just know that you're you're ruining my revenue, bro. <laughs> I'm just, I mean, there may be some truth behind that. But, I, I mean, you know, as, if you're not doing it on purpose, there's probably not much you can do about it, so... If you have an ad blocker or something like that on and it's effectively taking the ads out of videos, then that would be impressive. But um, I don't know how all that works. All right. Pub Garden, Wildflower Park, Raptor Enclosure. OK, so this isn't the this isn't the OK. And, and this is not a so this is a big mow, mow, mow the lawn. All right. Do I have, OK, so there's a trash. You know, how have I never noticed that the trash ones have the trash icon on them? OK. Dirt brand dirt. So 560 and 400, 570 and 400, 615 and 165. Five, that's a stripey. So we'll go ahead and put Buddy on this guy. And then I'll put me on the litter patrol. And then that'll probably take us pretty close to the, uh, you know, the BRB. Oh, yeah. I got sunburnt, too. That's one thing I didn't share with you guys. So in the kayak... We were sitting, you know, sideways with our feet up, right? I can't really show you because I'm stuck here. But feet up. But, like, 
right like i've got this like burn from like it's just like a diamond shape on the top of my sort of shin towards almost ankle area on both of my legs now my wife was sitting behind me and there's a chair there's two seats so the seat was sort of blocking the sun for her so lucky me i got sunburned <laughs> Still an Apple product. That's very true. That's very true. Is Apple do something about ads or something? Or what is I'm iPads anti ads? If so, I'm gonna change my viewability. You cannot view my videos on an iPad. You guys know I can do stuff like that? I can I can sort of select some content and how it's displayed. Sean Lee, we're going on a trip on my favorite rocket ship. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, fun fact for you: spelled differently, but that's my uh, that's my dad. That's my my mom's wife's name is Sean Lee. Again, spelled differently, but uh, fun fact. All right, so I'm plowing through this one. I mean, they're all just over in this corner. It's like almost not even fair. I mean, seriously. 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 Are you kidding me right now? Be right back. Got to go order pizza. Dude, time him out. Somebody time him out. Don't let him return. Because he's just going to be like... Me, 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 me. I got this pizza and it's so yummy. Me, 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 me. Hey, next, Gregson. Thanks for the sub. Welcome to the channel. Hopefully, you enjoy our content. Boy, I absolutely destroyed this litter patrol. I'm hoping there's another one because the faster you can get through these contracts, the faster we'll get to that trophy. Although, I need to mow a lot, right? I'm only 50 miles of my hundred miles um let's see here so i got nineteen thousand euros all right eighteen thousand euros um i wonder do i have another yes i got more litter okay so i'll go ahead and do this one and then we'll make buddy do Ooh. i feel like i did this castle one once And I better check the, uh, let's check the maintenance real quick. Ooh, 66. Let's go. All right. Go, 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 go. go ahead and fix mine up too, huh? All right. So we're sitting good there. Let's go ahead and do another one. Twitter! Good call there, Twitter button. All right. Uh... So I got 11 objects. Let's see if they're all in this bottom corner again. I wonder if you can... Whoa. Whoa. Whoa, why is it giving me that other noise? That's so weird. Why is it doing that? Good lord, are you friggin' kidding me again? Seven of the eleven already in this first little patch. Eight of eleven. Nine of eleven. I mean, it's almost dumb. Like, they don't even scatter them out. Like, seriously, are they all going to be right here again? If it's right here. Oh, look what it is. It's a little poopy. <laughs> it's a little poopy. That's true. That's true. Better late than never on the Twitter. All right. I, I, I'm going to take a quick cruise around. I feel like I got to watch on this level. And that I turned it in as a valuable, but 
You know, I don't. There's probably a rule about the valuables. And if somebody wants to look that up, that'd be that'd be handy. Like, I feel like there's probably like each map or certain maps probably have a collectible, but maybe they just spawn in randomly, and you just gotta find ten of them or something. <laughs> Shut up, Meg. <laughs> Are you finally back out of timeout now after speaking about pizza? Yeah, so Gray, uh, Jillian's still, like, really pushing hard for Euro Trip. So, you might be, uh, if you want us to come see you, you should definitely find a cool place near. Hey, hey, look at that, I found some. They're like Sony headphones, too. Um, find a place close to you. Close to you that we could stay. Um, at this point, I, I think it's Jillian, Reese, and I, but there may, Roderick may be included in that by the time this is all done and figured out. So there might be four of us. I don't know. It just all depends on various factors. Um, you know, I, I could see us kind of contributing and helping to get Roderick with us, but I don't know that we're going to have the money to pay for Roderick to go with us. So, um, I, mean, I don't know. I have no idea how much a trip like that costs. I don't know if my my anxiety and lack of wanting to go travel is going to allow me to really want to do that. It might just be Jillian and Reese. I might stay home. <laughs> and man, you know, I don't know. We'll have to figure things out because obviously we've got Drexler as well. And I mean, we won't put him in a kennel anywhere. And I don't, you know, depending on how long, if we're going to be gone two weeks, that might be too long to ask our mother-in-law to watch him. So there's lots of things we still need to figure out. Uh, you know, we've been saving for a house. Right now we're not buying a house. I mean, we could afford to spend some money to go on a vacation like that, create memories and all that. Although a house we were looking at dropped uh, $50,000 in this last week. It's not in the exact area we want to be in. But it has a pretty awesome yard. It's got a nice outdoor hangout spot right next to the yard. I mean, it's got all these raised beds. It's got, like, all the stuff that we're looking for. Fenced yard. Um, it's four bedroom. But the problem is the inside, the way it's done, like, two of the rooms have these A-frame type, like, roofs. Like, we have right now in our room. And it's like, we're not going to spend $350,000 on a house that I stupid low A-frames again. You know what I mean? So it just depends on what room. We, like, we might go drive by it and look at it today. Uh, it just depends. If my car, if my car is done, we'll be pretty close to where the house is. So, because my the shop that it's at is not far from it, and so we might go check that out. It just really depends. Um, but yeah, so I mean, uh, but not likely to to really be buying a house anytime soon. So we, we just kind of decided that, like, you know. We've been saving for a couple of years. We've been debt consolidating for <laughs> almost the whole time we've been together. It started with me. I had a, uh, a school loan, an outstanding school loan that it's a long story, but I, I got hosed to the point where I filed a complaint with the Better Business Bureau, which started an investigation because three other people from my class also filed reports for the same thing. And the investigation led to... Uh, the school being shut down. Like, I, I, I'm in no way saying that I am responsible for shutting the school down. I'm just saying that I got hosed and stood up for myself and others did too. And then more stood up. And then all of a sudden the school was fraudulent. They were lying about a lot of stuff. They were asking students who were graduating to lie. Uh, and, and a lot of it had to do with the placement rate. When we, when we signed up, it was a 98 placement, 98%, which is like unheard of, right? Meaning everybody graduates, basically gets a job, except for that one guy per class, right? That was not the case. They were wanting us to sign paperwork that said we were self-employed when we graduated, which then would lead to the stats saying that we were employed when we left, which then affected their placement rates. And when seven people out of 38 people graduate, 
you've already lost a huge percentage of your start to finish percent. And then you want those people to lie when only one of us had a job. The other, the others did not. So, but they want it. So, so anyways, I was pissed and I didn't pay on my school loans for a long time and money accrued, interest accrued, all these things. Right. And then it got sold to collections. Then get this class action lawsuit happened. They had like $14 billion they had to give back to students. My tuition would have been paid for had I not been default. So word of the wise people, if you ever have a school loan, you ever feel slighted, do the right thing and, and defer payments, do the proper things. Don't just hide from it because I legit hid from it. And it really bit me. I had to pay like, an, it was $10,000 to begin with. And after like 10 years of hiding, it was like 22,000 or something like that. And the, you know, you know what I, I'm literally, I have a certificate for office automation. If you can tell me what the hell that means, I'll give you a high five. But I have a certificate in office automation. Anyways, do I have any contracts for uh, <laughs> litter? No, I don't. I have no litter contracts. All right. So before I get jumping into this, I got to be honest. I have uh, a wee bit of a uh, full tank that needs to be drained. Not that you guys wanted full description on that, but just know that I don't have another 45 minutes to two hours before I can drain this bad boy. So it looks like I'll be taking my BRB a couple minutes early. Um, I'm going to go check on the dog, make sure, because I think the wife's out running some errands. Um, yeah, it's supposed to be a burner today, like 93 or 94 degrees, which means it'll be like 2 million in here. Getting coffee and fix the machine. So ultimately, I, I, like when I started the program, not to keep bashing on BCTI, look it up, Business Computer Training Institute. When I signed up and I talked to the scouts and all the people and was like, you know, just getting figured out. Um, at the time, I was dating a girl who was halfway through the program and already had job offers, right? Um, her sister had gone through and graduated, got a job immediately at the Oregon Lottery. And so I was like, oh, my God, this is like the easy way into this industry. Let's do this. And I jumped in and they told me I was going to learn how to build websites. I was going to do all this digital stuff. And in, in the school, which was a nine month, every day, eight hours a day school. Um, it's a trade school. Um, I learned how to use like Microsoft. I think Peachtree was one of them. Microsoft Word, Microsoft Excel. My, and, and when I say learned how to use, I mean, they basically taught us how to fire up the program and do the super basic stuff. Like we weren't even like, and this was back, you know, a long time ago too. So Excel was very primitive. Word was pretty primitive, but that's basically all we learned how to do. And, and in the end, I, I sort of had a certificate in being a receptionist, which is not what either of the two girls that I knew that had gone through ended up with. And, uh, but that's where, so I, I actually took some jobs as, you know, head receptionist at a couple of places before I finally went to, this is not why I went to school. Like I was supposed to be building websites. I had a friend who worked at Garmin. It wasn't Garmin yet at the time. It was uh, tomorrow. And, um, he was one of the head guys there. And they did all sorts of like GPS tracking and they were like the early Tom Tom stuff. Like they helped create a lot of that GPS technology um, and utilizing existing satellites and all that stuff. And like I was lined up, like the guy was going to go to bat for me and put me on their web development team. And when I graduated, he's like, so what can you do? I was like, I can't do anything. <laughs> so I ended up not having a, like it was just a way. So anyways, again, moral of the story is if you ever go to school and you don't like whatever degree or whatever certificate you end up with, don't hide from the legality and the reality, the financial side of it, because it will. And, and to know that I could have had it all paid off. Oh my gosh. All right, guys, uh, I'm going to explode. I'll be back in a couple. BRB.
<laughs> I'm back. What's up, y'all? Turns out wifey was home, so got caught up in conversation. So sorry if that took an extra minute or five. Um, let's see here. General cut overgrown. Oh, so this one's overgrown. So definitely. Okay, okay. So this will probably be the last task I do for the day. <laughs> Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh. Let's see, do I have any adverts I can buy? Yes. Ooh. Gotta spend that money. All right, so we are plowing through the those stuffs. At some point, I'm gonna have to upgrade my HQ. Like, I wish I understood this better. I wish I understood this better. Cause like, I want to purchase an HQ. This one has three bays available. And I, I like, are you sure you want to move? Yes. Okay. Booyaka Joe. All right. I meant to do that. Uh, let's see here. I think I have one bay available. Okay. So let's see here. What is the... I need to find out. I know this is dumb, but I want to make sure. What? What? Where am I at? May. So I'm getting close to July, right? I got May, June, July. Um, I know that there is that one trophy lawn in the USA. Purchase your first American-made mowers. So here's a list of the American-made mowers. Um. You'll need all of them for the mo mowers, mo problems. Uh, let's see here. So the Skags and the Pattersons. So this would be considered Skag V ride. Yep, that's one of them. Um, how much is this guy? Nine G's. And then let's see, who's this? That's a Stiga. No, so Patterson. It looks like I have not. Okay, so these are all like the super expensive. Well, wait a minute. So here's the Patterson. This one, the ZTA-1 also. So it's a side discharge. That sucks. Um, Stiga, no, it's just Skag and Patterson. So this one also works, but this is also a side discharge. I don't like the side discharge. You got to plan ahead. I'm bad at that. Um, so I guess this would probably be, so the Skag Patriot 52 and the Ride are both available. So this one's eight. This one, uh, so what is this side side discharge? We don't want that. Oh, come on. Hmm. I guess I won't worry about it right now. I thought I was gonna have to wait. Oh yeah, upgrade time, seven days. Okay, so good. I, I can't even place it there for a few days anyways. Upgrade, what's this? You want to upgrade what this will take seven days cost 1500 allow one extra bay yeah all okay. right i think i'm doing the right stuff all right so let's go and pick up i got five objects i can already see two of them this one is, remember how bad this one is? I'm going to try to make it like my last time that I mow this guy, but. At some point, the raptor paddock will be presented and be this overgrown and gross, too. I uh, thought I saw it down here. Nope, there it is. That's close, but not close enough. And I already got all of the whatchamacoolzits. Uh, actually, no, let's... Come on, get off. Can we get off the mower, please? Okay. Wow, it wasn't even started. Should I use a strength trimmer on the whole thing?
I don't know if this is smart or not. I know that this whole side over here is really fast. You know, coming down it. It's super fast. I don't know if this is saving me much time or anything as far as like, I just know it's so hectic going up and down these sides. It's hard to go up them because it's like a pretty steep slope. And then of course coming down them, you like fly, remember? <laughs> like, I was like letting off the throttle and I was doing like four or five miles an hour, like just coasting. trees? I can't remember. Just the one, huh? Alright, well, let's go hop on the mar. 1.5%. <laughs> Seven cents of fuel, let's go. I think I'm all good here. All filled up and ready to go. Oh, start it. Cutting at the wrong height. I need five, five, oh, so six. Let's go. Twelve, oh, two, huh? Use the trimmer there. Still didn't get it, huh? <laughs> it was a preemptive high five because I, I already I already displayed it. Cool dude. Peace, bruv. It's nice knowing you. Wait till he really shows us the, the biz when he comes back on his third account. <laughs> oh, man. It's crazy how much effort people will put into, like, the dumbest things. You want some gum gum? <laughs>
<laughs> Cuphead wants gum gum. Cheeseburger! Some of those other mowers are definitely a little faster and wider. Probably should have grabbed one of those. All right, I'm going to go do one more down here and then one up. And then I'm just going to try and focus on back and forth and back and forth and back and forth, which will require... Actually, you know what? I'm going to go down and then back up on the other side to avoid this going down process. I mean, I don't usually have a problem, but... It's a little aggressive. Hey, Nom's here. Nom, dude. <laughs> I'm sure you haven't been on Facebook like at all forever, but dude, Denny posted a photo this morning and then he got blasted with the first comment. At least I thought it was funny. It just sounded like something you would have said to him too. Posted a picture of him and a big fish, like he had just caught a fish. I laughed pretty good. Sounds like something that would happen to me, too. Woo! That's a close shave right there. Hey, Nam, have you ever been to the Thirsty Lion? There's a couple of them up in Portland. One's right by Washington Square. I, I'm sure you don't remember. It's where the old TGI Fridays used to be, if you know where that was. It's on sort of like the... I don't know, southeast side, I guess, of Washington Square parking lot. Over by where the movie theater Jaguar dealership's there now, too. Place is wild. Bro, you're 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 showing your, how pathetic you really are, bro. Like, I'm sorry, but this is just ridiculous. Yeah, like like we didn't see that coming, Michael. Like we didn't see you bringing an alternate account in and trying to be cool again. You're not cool, dude. You're making yourself look so stupid, and you're getting banned for future use. Keep making accounts. I'll keep banning them. Doesn't hurt my feelings at all, bro. And again, just makes you look petty and silly, dude. If that's your goal. Mission accomplished, bruv. Mission accomplished. But I mean, we, we don't need toxicity here. We don't need toxic behavior, toxic people. We got nom for that. <laughs> that position's been filled, bro. Yay! <laughs> I couldn't turn around in the space I had there, so going to go back up. And hopefully I can make a nice little turn around -sy. This view has an emphasis on the bird sounds. A little less mower sound, a little more tweet tweet cheeseburger. Whoa. <laughs> so I got a message from uh, Kim this morning. I, 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 I think I might have upset him. I'm not sure. 
But he showed me a picture and he said, uh, it's been a while. Look at this score I got or something. And it was a bunch of old, like, PS3 Lego games. I don't know if he just, like, pulled them out and he owned them all originally and he was just showing me. or But the way it read, it sounded like he just bought them all. They got them on a good deal or something. I don't remember how his wording was. And I was like, oh, did you miss the tweet I put out for the Humble Bundle where you get all those and, like, six more for, fucking, for, ten, for ten bucks? For, like, ten bucks? Like... Come on. Ten bucks for like, I think it's nine games f f for for ten? Is that what it is? I got another tweet, I, I and I went and sent him the link, and, and he didn't respond after that. So I don't know if like, I pissed him off or what. <laughs> Thanks for replying, now go away. <laughs> Well, feel free when he pops up on his third or fourth account raised, if you want to handle that, or Kirsten wants to swing some hammers, please, by all means. I just, I've had enough. Like, I mean, I, I'm not mad. I don't dislike. I, I just, I just think it's time to move on from the shenanigans that come with that. You know, like, we've tolerated a lot over the years. We've looked the other way on some of it. But, I mean, like, there is a consistency with every time he shows up. It changes the whole mood because he starts verbally going, or not verbally, but textually going after people. And it's like, why? Why are you picking fights with people you don't even know? You know, like, if you're that sad in your day, then go do that somewhere else. We don't need that here. If you want to hang and be cool, sweet. That's what we're all about. Cheeseburger. Where this terrain is bouncing me all over the place. Tyler, what up? Bro, there's been some pretty uh, exciting tweets this weekend. I'm sure you've seen some of them. <laughs> Oh, I don't know if you noticed too. Look, look, it's backwards. Look what the top line says. Oh, I bump bump the mic. My bad. Imagine. I guess I didn't have to stand up for that. Imagine. That's a favorite word of somebody. Uh, there was some of that, yeah, but there was, uh, some other ones, too, um, like, like Thor stuff and other, other stuff. <laughs> I'll just say this, I brought up enough ridiculousness that my wife is now like, dude, I don't want to hear anything about that guy ever again. Like, don't, don't bring him up. I don't want to hear his name. I don't want to, I don't know what he's saying. I don't want to know what he's doing. I don't want to hear about the seven collectibles he bought. I don't want to hear nothing. <laughs> so I've, I've done pissed the wife off by, by sharing, you know. I, basically, I'm retweeting, but, like, verbalizing it to her versus <laughs> I'm like, oh, my God, look at this. She's actually, you know, like, like some of us, too. Kind of surprised that some of that, I mean, none of it's, like, super bad but it's all seemingly fairly toxic and, and, and it's surprising that like some of these bigger things are sponsoring like I don't know if like they like the toxicity if they even know it's happening like you know what I mean like if they just look at performance and that's how it all happens and they don't look at the every average but I mean it's like some of that stuff would be like grounds for like you know contract removals I mean some of it some of it's just you know, like all the bullying that he does, like when he picks on somebody and stuff, like it's crazy. I, I, I can't, I mean, I've had enough with certain people, but I'm not going to tweet about it and like put DMs out there. I'm not going to go to police stations. Like you saw that too, right? I'm not going to go to a police station. Like it's crazy. Like I just feel like I should, I, I, I need to act differently than that. So I don't do any of that stuff. <laughs> Until he's going out on a rip. 
Uh. All right. Like this thing's pulling so hard to the right and then it'll bounce to the left and like this terrain is crazy. What is, what is, what happened? Is that intentionally being removed? What's, that, what's being said? I trust your judgment <laughs> until I don't, until it's your cat. <laughs> yeah, so I, I didn't fully understand that. Maybe I missed a step. Like, I'm pretty sure, like, he, like that was he was like exposing personal stuff, and and then the guy said, "Please don't, please don't, just delete it," and, and then and then he said. It's something like, please don't to avoid further complications or something. And, and the way I read it, it could have gone either way. That could have meant like, hey, man, I don't want to be embarrassed any more than I already am. Like, I'm sorry. He, he said, I'm sorry, too. I'm sorry. Just take it. Just forget about it. Just delete. I, you know, forget I ever said it. Le just leave it alone. And instead, it was taken as like, a, a, was it like a threat? Like, did he feel like he was in danger? Is that what happened? Whoa. Like, I, I wasn't quite sure why the police were involved. Was it just to dramatize? I, I, again, I, I don't know. Like, was he in danger? And if so, that might encourage one to not be so open with stuff like that. Right? I mean... That's why I don't argue with anybody on the internet. Like, I think it's silly. Ooh, trouble start. Oh, okay. Thank you for handling that. See, I didn't see that. All I saw was a comment that I literally... You could literally take either way. Like, the dude was so embarrassed, and he was shamed of it. Like, you just let it go away, right? Like, but I, I could see, too, how it could have been, like, hey, unless you want more problems... Right? But I, like I said, it could go either way. So that's why I, I must have missed something. Because that right there, dude, if somebody wrote that to me and I went to the police, they would laugh my ass out of the station. Like, seriously? But maybe there was something more serious. I, I don't know. Yeah, I, I saw the I, I saw the long thread back and forth, the, the 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 DMs that he posted to the public. Yeah, I saw that. It's crazy. I keep waiting for the day too that like you and I are having a conversation like now, and then it just shows up and stare like like Will Smith's me. Keep my name out your mouth. <laughs> I mean, in all fairness, no names have been exposed, but if you know, you know, you know. <laughs> Wouldn't that be hilarious? <laughs> we still find it interesting that a Lego guy like that uses my Lego videos to finish his Lego <laughs> games. <laughs> and I know this and can prove it because he's commented on the channel before talking about how he's here to finish the game. <laughs> he's talking with me, Ninja. We know what we talking about. It's public info to a certain extent. Then it just becomes sort of like, you know, exactly what I'm sort of <laughs> talking about. Like, public info that shouldn't be public, right? The concept of it, the overall story is fine as long as the names aren't revealed. It, it's fine. Got to go. Pizza must be there, huh?
All right, we're almost to 40%. Movie time, what movie are you watching? Oh, that reminds me. Uh, I need to talk to you about something, dude. So I, I, I don't know when you, if you'll be around after stream or not, but um, yeah, I gotta, I gotta ask you something. I gotta ask you a question. Which will likely lead to another one. Something Marvel, huh? Ms. Marvel? Eh. Alright, let's see if I can knock this out so I don't have to jump across again. He's probably watching Doctor Strange. Because I don't think he's watched that yet. I mean, I suppose he could be watching Thor, but I don't... I mean, he'd be going somewhere for that one. Which he might be. What do you mean, which one? Are you watching the new Thor? Are you watching old Thor? Are you watching... I, I've just assumed you probably watched Doctor Strange, because you uh, you haven't mentioned that you've watched it yet. Not, I mean, not that you report every single movie you watch to me, but often we talk about that stuff, so... Two point five post hand. Half of it work. <laughs> Downtime is awesome. Gosh, I need to like. It's weird when I'm not mowing, I don't go nearly as fast. It does that the. The logic behind that makes no sense. All right, I'm gonna come and do another full pass from the bottom here. Huh? Let's make it a little easier to turn around. Ooh. Catching a whiff of something. It might be some cheese, you guys. I might be getting my hopes up, but... I could totally eat cheese on stream, because it's like... We just cut it up into little squares, and then we use toothpicks to, like, pick it up and... Chop, 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 chop. I think he's watching the second half of Doctor Strange. I think is what he said without saying it all. All right. By the time I swoop back by, I'll probably be pretty close to fitty. Uh, just two. Just two, Tyler. Just two. First one, which was out like, you know, four or five years ago. Three, four or five years ago. It's been a while. And then now the, I don't remember, Multiverse Madness or Madness Multiverse. I don't remember what they call it, but it's good. I've, I've, I've seen it. I, I liked them both. It, it Time-wise, it takes place right after WandaVision. So, like, if you watched WandaVision, 
it, it, it's sort of extra informative. Uh, it's not a necessity, but like you, some of the backstory and stuff is talked about, and you, you understand it a little bit clearer if you've seen WandaVision. Multiverse of Madness, there you go. Doctor Strange, mom. <laughs> ah, that's kind of funny. Have you seen Doctor Strange? Which one? One or two? The mom one. <laughs> Great, that's the new name, Doctor Strange Mom. Whenever we're talking about the second one, it's Doctor Strange Mom. So, okay. I, I'm 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 pretty sure. Can we all agree that my ninja is probably Michael? Can we all agree on that? Can we all agree on that? Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I need a therapist? Says the guy who's been picking fights with strangers online and switching accounts and continuously coming back to start more tra I'm the one that needs help? Some people have a strange way of looking at things. Yeah, in the event that it's not, I didn't fully boot that account. Whoa, bro, whoa, fucking Bronco, let's go. I didn't fully remove that account, so it's possible he will post again. Um, but at some point, either a hint will be taken and accepted or the Das Boot will be back. He was running two accounts at once, definitely, probably. I mean, it's not hard to switch back and forth. Like, we've seen multiple people do it often. Chacho! <laughs> Brad. Brad! Brad's been there a couple of times. Yeah, Chacho's being cool. I hate that I have like a little bit here and a little bit there. Nice guy, Chacho. <laughs> it's not quite the same as nice guy, Ty. Yeah, a, a, a ring to it isn't really what I was referring to. Nice guy Ty is usually not that nice. <laughs> There's an extreme amount of sarcasm, sarcasm or, uh, you know, <laughs> layers that get included in nice guy Ty. <laughs> uh, insert gif, insert gif. <laughs> yeah. Normally you get the best of a nice guy tie when you play Ultimate Chicken Horse. I mean that's where it all begins. <laughs>
He's like, I don't know what you're talking about. It wasn't me. Ooh, 58, 58. And that's only the beginning, yes. No, I agree. <laughs> so I said that's where it starts. <laughs> uh, bro, bro, bro. <laughs> I missed that game. Uh, we need to return to that at some point. I, I don't know how many more like plays it would take to, for me to get platinum, but I still don't have platinum on that game. I'm missing the solo and the the comeback trophy, which uh, both of them I only need like five or ten each, but just haven't, you know, never cheesed it on my own. Wanted to get it legit. PVZ, huh? Yeah, I'm working on plat for this. I, I don't know if I'll get it. I don't, you know, it's one of those ones that like, I, I've looked at some of the challenges and I feel like they're fairly doable. Um, you know, all in all, it's just a grinder of time. And that's where I really see the majority of this being an issue. Like, I got the one, a, a couple of them already that are tough, right? Like, I got the upgrade your buddy all the way, and uh, it seems like there was another one that I got that was a little on the grindy side, but maybe not. Appreciate the hugs, Cuphead, although those commands don't function here. Oh, <laughs> there's that sand trap. The infamous trap. That thing is a little, uh... <laughs> yeah. I don't even know what to say about that. I forgot, I forgot about that. And lucky me, it's gonna be one of the last areas I get to mow again, huh? <laughs> Almost a funny number! Three more long. Nice. How many more you got, Chacho? Is that the last one you need to upgrade, or you got still a few more? It's weird how my line has sort of changed in the way it has, right? Like, now I'm going downhill for part of this back and forth. Like, it's gotten really uh, misshaped from how I started. It's not a problem, but ooh, there's a little spot that I missed. Nailed it. Cruising pretty good. Ooh. Shouldn't have said nothing. Nice. Only three more, huh? Now, do you have all the plants mastered too, or? Because I mean, that's one of the that's like the grindiest stuff is just getting all those guys leveled up, really. Unless you're doing the cheese, which certainly helps. And still grindy even doing the cheese. I like cheese. <laughs> Watch out for the stepchildren. <laughs> Yikes. Just have one more. Hey, hey, you're getting pretty close then, broski. 
Because you need, like, what, like, 16 or something like that. And if you're down to four, that's good. I remember it being a lot, whatever it is. Twenty. Okay, yeah. Yeah, then you're sort of in the home stretch. You know, when you get that last one or two, then you certainly be there. Or certainly. You know, another another cool addition that this game could add that would be fun. It would be sort of like a mid to late game addition, and it would be nothing big or or that helpful but it would just be another cool aspect you could have one of the items to purchase for your you know crew be a drone and you could fly the drone around and maybe even pick up the trash or at least fly it up and see like bird's eye view and then go get the trash right and then, like, you know, Amazon and now FedEx and other companies, when they drop off packages, they're taking pictures of their finished work, right? Like, when they drop it off, proof that they left it wherever so that the user can see where, where it was left. You can take a picture and get extra points or whatever, right? Like, take a drone picture and get an extra $20 or, you know what I mean? Like, toward the contract. Extra incentives. I think that's cool. You know, I still like to drink it on the job as long as you don't get caught or, you know. And having it be like you drink too much and your mo job, like, it's harder, you know. Like, I think that'd be killer. I mean, maybe I'm the only one that finds that to be a, a good slash funny idea. Your goggles up. <laughs> that has multiple meanings, though, I guess. I mean, they have dinosaur DLC. I guess they could add other things. Might be a little on the... Uh... <laughs> I don't know what the proper word is, but... Probably not widely accepted by all. But that would be funny. Blade's taking some damage. <laughs> Moving pretty good. <laughs> Yeah, I still think this would be, like, the most nightmare contract ever if you had to stripe it. I do need to get that stripe trophy at some point, so I'm going to have to stripe at least one yard. Which, I remember you have to buy a certain type of mower and then buy the striping add-on. Like, it's not something you just get stock. Which is kind of a pain in the old tuchus. The 14th or the 16th? I thought it was the 16th. But yeah, no, I'm planning on... Uh, uh, you missed that earlier. We got one more week before that happens. Or no, it'll be this week, huh? Huh. Maybe next week then. I was going to play one more week and then switch it over. Because I thought it was the 16th, but I, I need to look at a calendar. Because I think the 16th is a Tuesday, isn't it? I'm probably wrong. It's the 14th, he said. Okay. When is that? It's got to be like... That's a weird day. It's Thursday? I guess the 16th would be weird, too. Huh. Both weird.
Yeah, I bought it on PC. I, I never played it, though. Reese showed interest in wanting to play it with me until I bought it, and then he was like, meh. He's, like, full-on addicted to Tarkov right now. I mean, he logs, like, six to ten hours a day escaping from Tarkov. I, I see him. He spends a ton of time with his inventory, too, and then he goes in and gets shot by a camper and just rages out, which I guess is sort of a problem in that game. Because some people play it like the game is supposed to be played, but, I mean, it's war, right? It's kind of hard to determine what's real strategy and what's cheap strategy. I mean, the goal is to survive, be one of the last ones standing or whatever. So doing whatever it takes, if that means sitting in a bush and camping. Come on, get up there. Jesus. Come on. Look at this. I can't get up there. Good lord. Bouncy time. Yeah, I mean, I've been playing what's on stream and then, you know, recording free roam for LEGO Star Wars in between, and that's been it for me. I haven't played any Apex off stream. I haven't played any Dismantle or Ghostwire, nothing. Nada. My time, my game time has been fairly limited too, outside of streams and, and work stuff. I'm about a third of the way done with uh, free roam. As far as planets go, I mean, percentage-wise, I, I, have, I haven't even looked in a while, so I don't know where I'm at. But um, you know, I definitely I've got 19 of the 58 spots that you can have to go and collect stuff. So that includes space too, like, so basically all of the areas of free roam, not including any of the capital ships though, or any of that stuff, just the free roam stuff. I'm too poor right now for them capital ships. No, I've got plenty of cheese, but I'm sort of uh, about ready to buy the last multiplier brick, which will put me at the highest multiplier and then studs will not be a problem. I mean, they're not really a problem, but Knowing that my next goal is to buy the $384 million upgrade, it's, uh, you know, it's happening, but not as fast as I'd like it to. But yeah, we're, uh, making good ground there. That's for sure. translated thing no I've not I, the only data card purchases I've made are multipliers I haven't needed any is it like a translator so like anybody can talk to anybody you don't need a special character or anything no I, have, I haven't done that sounds useful I haven't had any issue though switching to like a Sith character or a, you know protocol droid or whatever so most of the gonk droids can be spoke to by a Jedi or a Sith, as well as Protocol. And then they, uh, you know, there are some that require Protocol, but... C-3PO is always in my go-to bag, so it's easy enough. But if there's something else I'm missing, that would be interesting to know. I'm sure you wrote it in the, the guide somewhere, but I still, like, old man Brian Brain can only track so much at the time. Sounds handy. It's probably pretty inexpensive compared to like the multipliers too. But yeah, I've got like 153 million, and I need 384, so I'm like just shy of halfway to the next one. And and each planet area, just smashing things and grabbing and doing the tasks, you get like 100 million. You know, so I mean it. it after I finish the next planet area, I will probably be within like an easy grind status to finish it up and get it. I 
And then once I purchased that, I mean, I figured that I probably wouldn't buy any more data card upgrades, but I might. I mean, I, I haven't really... Honestly, I've looked at some of them, and not all of them, but, like, the Ported Companion, I've gotten so many comments saying that they're, like, their game is broken, they can't complete a certain task, and then they respond later, oh, I fixed it, I needed to turn the Ported Companion off, it wouldn't work. And I'm not sure what the circumstances were, I'm not sure if it was just full-on user error on their end, or if, like, you know, updates have changed or fixed things since that or what, but, like, most of that stuff seems like it's just a nuisance versus a, you know, a helper. Hey. Four by four, yeah, that'd be. They have some beefier, bigger ones, but right now I'd have to sell one of mine because I need to wait six more contracts or whatever, six more days before I can park it anywhere. Anyway, so I'm glad I didn't buy one when I was sort of shopping for that American-made one because I'm not even really that close. I, I've still got a couple, two, three streams before I hit July in the in-game stuff where I would want to get that trophy. That's sort of time specific like i feel like i'd have to play a lot of contracts to get back there again and maybe by the time i get platinum i will have cycled all the way through a year and i'll come back through and have a second opportunity before i even really worry about it but at the same time i don't want to miss out on that and hopefully i haven't missed out on any other date based trophies i don't think there is but Yeah, I just don't have a problem, honestly, at all with switching. Like, I always have a Jedi and a Sith character in my my group, and I always have a Protocol Droid out, and an Astromech for that matter, but toggling over, like, you can see, as soon as you see the character, like, he's got a little comment balloon, you can tell that you'd need it, so I just switch to him, so I don't, I don't have any problems. Like, I've made a mistake a couple of times, like, talking, like, in the Sith Citadel, right? They all speak Sithanese, and, um... You know, there was a time or two I had a Jedi out, and I tried to speak to him, and he didn't understand. I had to toggle over to Anakin, Yellow Eyes, or whatever, but that doesn't, doesn't, it's easy. Like, if you were constantly having to dig out characters and switch, like, your main, but, like, my cast seems to stay basically the same. You know, as long as I don't switch them, they pretty much stay locked in. So, like, the, I mean... They may change a little bit, but the types of characters are almost always available. So, like, it may be Bail Organa instead of, like, Rose or something, right? Like, but uh, for the most part, it's, I guess, Rose probably has a hero character. I don't know if I've unlocked it. But you guys get what I'm saying, though. And the Bounty Hunter always seems to be Django. Like, it hasn't, I think, maybe once or two. I think the update fixed that. Because in the early couple of times, I felt like I was having to switch a little bit. I don't have to do that at all anymore. So I feel like there may have been some tweaks to that particular part of the game. Uh, yeah, I have a strict no buy anything but the characters needed and multipliers. Until all the multipliers are bought. Once I've got them bought, then it's a little bit loosey-goosey, but... 384 million is, you know, even with 384 times, it's not, like, instant. You know, there's <laughs> definitely uh, not going to be a shortage of studs after... Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Yes! After I get that next one, though. Yeah, I don't... Ray's useful sometimes, but, I mean... I, I don't find myself using her unless it's a scavenger-based thing. And, and it switches between, what's the little buddy's name? Kim Chi or something? Kim Ji? K Kajimi or something? I, I don't know what his name is, but he's the little, like, uh, he kind of looks like uh, a little troll or something. Jedi Ray? Yeah, no, I don't, I don't even think I've unlocked Jedi Ray. I, I probably have her, but I don't never, never use her. Uh I use pretty much uh, Obi-Wan 
And it's only because it's been set. Like, again, like it, none of my stuff is really swapping out or changing. Um, so I just continue to use the same. Her hops were the best for me. <laughs> I don't. I think all the Jedi characters all function the same. I don't think any are different. I mean, maybe, but I feel like they're all the same. You might have upgraded your stuff too when you started using her, because I think there's some upgrades for jumping as well. I, I I could be wrong on that. I have not done hardly any. Max Walters is on holiday today, bro. Uh uh, this was an unapproved. They do not function the same. I, I've I haven't used her much at all, so I don't. I can't say, but. I can't tell a difference between any of the other Jedi's at all. None of them. What up, Pertos? Welcome. And and, and I would be curious to see, because uh, um, I I feel like all the uh, abilities are like just like copy and pasted. Like I don't feel like one Jedi is better than the next Jedi at either thing. Now a Jedi that's not powered up versus a Jedi that is powered up that makes sense. But uh, traditionally in Lego games, they don't have like one character better, like one person's blaster is not better. Like same with the, uh, you know, you got the triple burst of the bounty hunters, but single burst, like the one blaster is not more powerful than the other, is it? I don't know. I, 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 I'm not saying you're wrong, but I don't, I'm not seeing any difference at all. And uh, I mean, you've, logged in probably a little bit more than me as you've finished it but i mean you know and again i'm not using her so i haven't I, it may have just been your confidence with her i, I don't know I, it may, may have been a real deal change i just like looking at ray more than the other. <laughs> it's legit too huh all right so buddy's on vacay so it looks like I just got one. Do I have a raptor? There's gardens, historic lands, pup garden. What's this one? No. Okay. So I'll just do a quick trashy. Trash. To get Buddy back. Absolutely. All Jedis do backflips. It has to do with where your positioning is. So if you are looking away from, like if you're looking left and you want to jump right, you'll do a backflip. If you're looking straight, you can double jump. That's a that's all Jedi's. All Jedi's do that. All of them can. Luke too, I'm sure of it. Load it up, check it out. I'm sure of it. <laughs> there may be a version of Luke that doesn't like a, a, a pre Yoda trained version or something, but um, all Jedi should, all of them. I actually talked about it in one of the videos that hasn't been released yet. So I, I, and not that you would watch any of those or all of them anyways, but um, you know, cause you've completed the game. But yeah, I, I've, I've talked about that because I, I found myself getting stuck with the the backflip jumps in a particular like it like on uh the death star cleanup there's those uh platforms that you have to turn on to get up to the top levels you know and i was struggling because of the backflips situation so i i gave a tip to tap in the direction of where you're looking before jumping to avoid the backflips i feel like her lack of response is meaning she's firing it up right now <laughs> She's gonna be like, no, you're wrong. Whoa. All right. Yeah, there's no need to do backflips. It is it is a Jedi based thing. So yeah, if you look one way and you jump the other way, it'll do a backflip. And it's sort of a springier jump, honestly, but you can't do a double jump. Ooh, pineapple on pizza, awesome. Glad you're finally coming around, Kirsten. Whip, 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 whip. She's like, no, I can't type this no fast enough. <laughs> so uh, answer me this is, is, is fruit like gross to you and, and like a salad. Now, it, like a lot of like a lot of classic Turkey cooking recipes also put like 
like pineapple rounds across the top. Like they'll put them on there. So it kind of drizzles down their sweet juice. Is, is that gross to you too? Is it just pineapple? So you love fruit and salads. How is it any different on pizza? You like cheese and in, in salads? I like, I like, I like cheese, bacon, fruit, all that stuff. And, and all of it. Like, I'm not specific. Like, it's just weird to me that, like, if you don't like pineapple, I could totally understand why. But why it's so weird, like, cheese and pineapple totally go together. They're delicious. And add a little sauce to it. Mm, nom, 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 All right, historic land. Nope, we don't. We just did that one. Nope, we want the raptor paddock is what we want. Okay, so historic land there, too. So let's put Buddy here. Yeah, you took a day off. Now you get, whoops, 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 whoops. Now you get hosed with like the worst contract of them all. Meanwhile, I'll take on the litter contract. Because <laughs> I don't like warm pineapple. So wait a minute, though. Do you like cold pizza? I think Tyler and I are thinking the same thing. I feel like there's a middle point here, Kirsten, where there may be, there may be a series of parameters that might open a new world for you and you may actually enjoy pineapple on pizza. Oh, and I'm not really a fan of, come on. So here, here's another question. This is for everybody. Cold pizza. If you're heating it up, what is the preferred method? Microwave or oven? Curious. So I have a really weird stance on microwaves. I use them a lot when I was like, you know, 13, 14, 15 years old, like hot pockets and all those sorts of like things like that. Right. Um, then I found out all about like the radiation, how it cooks and why it cooks and all that. And it sort of freaked me out. Like I sort of decided I wasn't going to do much foods cooked by microwaves anymore. I, you know, and I still wonder, like, is there a connection to a lot of people's health stuff and people who often eat microwave meals? Now, that could mean different things, though, too, because, like, Hot Pockets and all that, not very healthy, regardless of how you cook them, right? A lot of processed stuff goes into them. And, you know, they found out over the years that, you know, all the fillers and processing isn't necessarily good for the human body. So, um but I mean, pizza, right? Like pizza in theory is not necessarily healthy. It's not really considered bad. It's high carbs. So depending on what your diet is, um, but, and, and if you're, you know, gluten issues, then, then obviously bread is probably not great for you either. But all of that aside, like, do you heat it up in the microwave or do you heat it up? Oven all the way. I got to get that crisp and you never get the crisp from the microwave. I, I so appreciate that. That's how I, like, even last night, my wife cooked a flank steak and, and she checked the end of the steak, which was all about the same thickness. And the end of the steak was like cooked great. And then we got it inside and sliced it all up. And we turned off the grill and everything. And there was a little portion of the middle that was a little undercooked. And I don't like my meat pink. I'm not a fan of undercooked meat. I like it well done, I like it gray and like almost crispy. And, um, and so she, she like tried to sneak it in the microwave. It was so funny. She was like, and she put it in the microwave and I walked in. I was like, what's going on? I was like, Ooh, that's looking kind of mooey still. And she's like, yeah. And I go, Oh, so what's the plan? And I looked over at the microwave and I opened it up. <laughs> there was meat in there. And she looked at me and she goes, you don't have to have any of that. Like she just knows that I don't love eating the food prepared in the microwave just because of that. And, and I'm probably being over precautious, but like, like my grandparents, for example, they had a microwave in their house and everyone was so surprised. You've had this microwave for 22 years. Yeah. They, you know how many times they've used it about 22 times. Like they never, and, and like grandpa made it to 94 grandma's 95, still doing quite well. No microwave usage still to this day. And, you know, maybe that has nothing to do with nothing, right? But I look at things like that and I start assessing and I kind of go, hmm. You know, the less I do that, the less like rock star drinks and the less all, right, all those things that are sort of maybe not good, for, the less cigarettes I smoked, right? I, you, maybe you knew this, maybe you didn't. I actually smoked uh, a pack plus a day for like 13, 14 years. Uh, when Reese was born... I had been smoking for 12, 13 years, and and within six months of his existence, I quit. 
And um, so Fourth uh, of July, uh, actually, it was Fourth of July weekend. We went to to do our anniversary it's before we were married, right? Uh, we went to do our anniversary weekend at the beach, and I got wind that there was an acupuncturist there that did smoking therapy, and it was three sessions for a hundred and fifty dollars. And so for less than it cost me to smoke in a month, right? Like it would cost me way more than that for all the packs of cigarettes I was smoking. I was able to take the acupuncture and and quit. And it's July 4th was the last time I had a cigarette. And that was Reese is 17. He was six months old when I quit. So, I mean, that's 17 years ago since I've had a cigarette. So again, not knocking anybody that smokes or whatever, but like, I, you know, once he was born, I really started shifting gears to be, you know, healthier. Like I don't work out, but I tried to eat. I tried to basically knowing that I'm not a, a, an athletic super workout type of dude. I tried to minimize all the, the BS that I was intaking so that I didn't have to worry so much about that stuff. Um, all right. So I got another, uh, okay. So let's put buddy over here. And let's go ahead and grab some, uh, some more litter. Keep in mind, I am grinding away those, uh, what is it? There's like a hundred contracts I need. So I, I'm sure the litter contracts count. I think they count. If you eat healthy, you live longer. In theory, yes. I mean, there's always catastrophic things that happen. Car accidents or freak accidents or, you know, sometimes people eat healthy. Like, like my mom is really healthy and has been. Like, you guys have no idea. Before it was cool. Before it was called vegan or any, like, before any of that stuff was around. Back, like, when I was born, my mom was anti-meat, anti-killing of animals, anti, like, her and my dad didn't get along very well because my dad came from a hunting family. And my mom was very anti-hunting, and she didn't want that. My dad came from, like, a big-time football and athletic program. My mom was so anti, like, I couldn't play football. I could play soccer, but I couldn't play football, you know? And so there was all these, like, rules and things, um... And uh, my mom's been pretty well off. You know, she's in her uh, mid to late 60s and uh, has escaped a lot. But she has some nervous stuff like she, like her. She, I don't want to call it a bobblehead, but my mom's definitely gone through some some nervous stuff, which, of course, worries me. Um, and then uh, on top of that, like right now, she's going through like some stomach or I, I don't know the exact stuff, but she's had to go to a couple specialists and stuff. So hopefully, you know her methodology, her healthiness and all that will pay off and it'll help get her through all this. And if she had eaten crappy, maybe she wouldn't be here right now or whatever. But, um, you know, everybody, everybody has a little different, uh, thing esteemed. Okay. So I think I got my, this might be the highest of my rank points requirements. Let's see here. Okay. Oh, come on. One of every kind, 66. So I wonder why I'm not like getting any further there. Oh, I guess it's because I haven't done a striped contract. I should look into that in it for the long haul. But I've got 52 of 100. 52 miles out of 100. Mo mowers, mo problems. Okay, I still need a bunch of those. Some of these are going to be interesting. Lawn enforcement, hand in all valuables. Okay, so that's one. I don't know how many there are. I wonder if this guide says anything. Uh, you're the hero. Teamwork makes the dream work. Top of the mountain. Work all the grass. Work the license and everything. Jack of all trades. And for the long haul. Nope, nope, nope. So it's further down. Top of the mountain. Teamwork makes the dream work. Uh, so the hero. Bring a company uh, career. Uh, uh, lawn in the USA. Okay, I'm right, bigger and better, leaner and meaner. Complete a striping contract. Complete a litter contract. Complete three contracts in a single day. Complete your first part contract. Use an American made mower on the 4th of July, which, where am I at with that now? Am I in June yet? Am I still in May? Still in May. Rather wet. Close shave. Finish 10 career contract with a recommended completion. Time. Oh. You need to complete 10 career contracts within the recommended completion. Time. You'll be doing plenty of contracts to get up the ring point. Extinguished. 
So plenty of opportunities to do this. If you're having trouble with the general cut or striping contracts, you can do 10 separate little contracts, which are insanely easy to finish within the recommended completion time. I don't think I have the right. Like once I get a better mower, I think those will be easier. Okay, look at all these, a bunch of new unlocks. So, okay, so I should have new stuffs. So I got another quest there. All right, so where's Buddy going to benefit the most? So 790, 975. Okay, so there we go. 975. Buddy. Buddy. And Buddy. <laughs> so five minutes. I should be able to do this. I don't know if the close shave, 10 career contacts. Hmm. Maybe I already got the close shave. But I, I feel like close shave means mowing, not litta. 105. All right, so I got about an hour left. I better take one more mowing contract after this. Not that I'm going to have an opportunity to do another litter anyways, but... Yeah, the last couple should be back here. I see two at least. Okay. Looks like one straight ahead on the path. Oh, there was the other one right there. Okay, we're good. We good. Look at that, I nailed it. Oh, snap. Hey, David boy. Thanks for the sub. Welcome to the channel. Hopefully you enjoy our content. Ooh, the upgrade complete. Oh, I can upgrade again. One extra pay. Okay. Yeah. So now we're getting like up there. We still got a lot of cheese left. I mean, I, I'm doing all right. Soon I'm going to want to hire somebody else. I'm going to want to buy a new MOA. So, okay, give me the Raptor Pad. Raptor Paddock. Raptor Paddock. Is this another... No, it's a mower driver. Okay. Um, That's a striper. Okay, so we'll have Buddy do this one. And I will do this one. And before we bounce, though, let's make sure his mower is all up to date. Yeah, it needed some work. I think I think mine's good. Yep. Let's roll. All right, this might be the last one we do for the day. It might not be. Uh, okay, so nine objects. I don't know that I found all of the valuables for the dino stuffs but i feel like i did find one here There's another one right over here that's so scary it'd be funny if there's a poopy right under him poopy poop 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 So I need three mo. Three mo. Okay. Nothing behind here, right? So I got one more I need. It's gotta be over here. Hmm. Ooh, so scary. I just need the final one, buddy. Where are you at, buddy? 
I don't see it way over there. Like, I'm trying to use the draw distance cheese. And it's not seemingly there. It's probably around the back of the snack station again. Probably just missed it back there. It's probably right over behind me where I didn't look. Hmm. This guy's tucked in pretty good somewhere. Aha! Nailed it. First try. Let's take a quick peek and see if there's anything like hanging or. Can't remember. I think I got the valuable for this guy, but. All right, let's go get on our moa. Seven to eight, so we're good to go. <laughs> really? Holy cow, are you serious? This thing is straight up overgrown. Gotta go so stinking slow. Boy, I gotta remember that too, because there's definitely some string trimmer stuff right there. That's not going to be good for the long run. I have to replace my blades. My engine condition is already taking a hit, too. What the crap, man? I. Oof. Blech. Yeah, see, if I had a little more powerful mower, which I will soon, in the next week or two, I will uh, be able to mow these a little faster, I think. It's not necessarily more powerful. I think it's wider with just a little taller. I don't know, maybe not. Definitely some edges that need some string trimming. Ooh. Which way do I go? Which way do I go? Boy, I can't see nothing from that view. Since I'm coming back, I might as well take a swipe of this stuff here. That's some tall boy stuff.
Come on, really? I'm gonna be able to do like one and a half mile an hour through this. This is gonna be like a week long project for me. <laughs> I feel like that bird's laughing at me. <laughs> Man, I'm like off the throttle and it's like sending me into a speed tizzy here. Dang, yeah, this is not the preferred mower for sure. Jack got quiet. Seems like the uh, the assumption I made about multiple accounts may have been right because uh, after I said that, it seemingly stopped. Like he was like, "Oh no, he figured me out." I just felt like the floor shake, like Drexler was up here jumping. Is is the mowing sound really loud, or am I, am I, you guys can hear me over the mower, right? I'm just looking at the bars, and it looks like the mower's like way up there. Yeah, at this rate, it's going to take me longer than I actually want to spend on this. Damn. I was trying to do like a kind of a shorty. But I definitely need a better mower for this junk. Jeez. I've never quit a contract early. Like, I don't know if it just means I get like fined a little bit or don't get the full pay or how that all works out, but... I'm doing one mile an hour and I'm overloading my engine. 1.6. I bet like I literally got the throttle on my joystick barely pulled. Like I'm like five percent on the pull and it's telling me I'm going too fast. Which just tells me I've got the wrong mower for the job. It's all overgrown. Mesmerized. Mesmerized. Missed opportunity there, raised. <laughs> Don't you boo me. Don't you boo me. So 10% in seven minutes. It means it's roughly going to take me an hour and, you know, 10 minutes or so to finish it, which would put me about 20 minutes over, which isn't the end of the world. Hopefully we'll get our second wind of people. It looks like we're a little on the low side right now. I guess once you kick out four, four repetitive accounts, it sort of minimizes your numbers a little bit. Oh, blaming the autocorrect, huh? <laughs> You're like, nope, I nailed it. Just the autocorrect took it away from me. Ooh, there's a spot. Six Flags, huh? I haven't been to Six Flags since I was like 10 years old. Place is fun, though. 
I don't think I can handle the roller coasters, which is ultimately what they're most known for, right? Roller coasters stuff, Six Flags. Like I can do a handful of the rides at Disney, like the Jungle Cruise, and some of the some of the easier stuff. Uh, but just being old doesn't sit as well with me as it used to. All right, speaking of not sitting as well, that flapping piece of grass right there, I know is gonna be like an end game thing. So I think it's 99.9. .9. Yeah, she's. It's the worst. We haven't seen Mega Beard yet today, right? Jeez. That one scared me a little bit. It was all quiet and peaceful. Rawr! <laughs> brown pants, brown pants. What you gonna do? Yeah, I don't know if he's doing it on purpose or if he just hasn't caught on yet, but he's still posting hashtag Legos. I also want to ask him about his uh, memberships. Because mine was canceled. And it seems like there might be some problems on the YouTube side of things there. I don't know if he knows that or what, but I don't know if anybody else uh, supports that. But um, I know that um, about a month and a half ago or so, a month ago, it was put on pause. Remember when that happened to me, too? And they'd, like, do some investigating or whatever on whatever. And, um... So I, I don't know what his situation ended up being. I, I can't fix my engine! So, like, like... I don't even know if I'm gonna be able to finish this at this rate. Like, seriously. Because it's overloading. I, I can't go any slower than I am right now. Like, this is as slow as it gets. I can't go any slower without coming to a complete stop. And it's bogging out at the lowest point. And, and my engine condition is already in bad shape. I mean, it's already almost a quarter of the way. And I'm not almost a quarter of the way done. So it's like... Oh my gosh. Try to peg it at one. It's like almost impossible. See if I can make it to 25%. See, look, it left some stuff right there. Anywhere else? I don't think you can fix it from the truck either. I think you got to take it back to the shop. You can fix the blade and you can fill the fuel. But I don't think you can fix the engine or the vehicle. I don't know that I've ever come to a point where it said you can't continue. You know what I mean? I'm trying to go slow. It just means I'm going to have to... Uh, I mean, I might have to finish half of it with string trimmer. Uh -huh. Like, I'm going slow enough, it's asking me if I want to get off my vehicle. See? Uh, see, I let off right there, but I was going downhill, so it kept going. So you guys can't see, there's a slope right there. Look, see it? Can you see it a little bit now? There's definitely a downward slope. And I think that's going to be where the most engine... See, I barely... I tapped it and let off and it slid. Same thing. I'm not even on the throttle. This is ridiculous. Like I said, though, if I can get over that 25, you know, 30% mark 
without it going that way. Like, I don't care if I have to rebuild the whole thing at the end. But if I, I can't make it, though, that's going to be problematic. And I'm already struggling on time. Not really, but... I am trying to go a little faster right now. As you can see, I'm doing 1.8. There's some thick stuff back here, though. See, and that's what I don't understand. Like, I'm pressing it barely, and then I let off, and I somehow go faster. It's got to be the terrain. I'm not pressing two, though, either. Like, I wish you guys could see this. Like, you can sort of see on my throttle, but, like, I'm literally barely pushing it. And yet it's going higher and higher and higher, and I haven't pushed it any higher. There's definitely some mechanics that I'm not loving. I'm not loving it. started going backwards there. How did that happen? Okay, I would say I'm probably close to 25% engine condition damage. And I'm at 20, almost 21%. No, I, I could cancel and start over, but it, it penalizes me somehow. I, I, I don't think I've ever done that. But it like legit strains my finger to do this minimal of a pull. I wish I could change the throttle. You've got full throttle or no throttle. I, but I, if I could put it like 2200 right now, that would allow me to like full throttle on the trigger, but only be doing like one 1.5, 1 right? Like you could set some different throttle positions that would allow your trigger position to be controlled, the speed in a different way. Like, I feel like that would be beneficial to the player as well. And it just instantly chews up the mo engine as soon as I start getting in the red there. It's going to be a photo finish on this. And look, I'm not, I'm like literally pulling the same. Is there slope here? There has to be slope here. But you can't even really tell. Because of the funny camera angles they give you. I can't go level sideways. It's silly. I swear I've mowed this area before and I didn't have this problem. There must be just like a overgrown attribute must be one of the new contracts i unlocked all right so let's pull it up on the truck and see if i can fix the engine i don't think i can but i'm right here cutting blades fill the fuel and i can recover which just takes it back to Get on vehicle, okay. And it's still hosed. Everything else is good, but here, let's, uh, I don't know why it does that. Really? Is that gonna be an issue? Look how thick this stuff is. I gotta go over it multiple times. It's crazy. Wee! So 
So this is definitely helping with percentage catch up. I don't know if it's faster or slower, but it's working. I don't know if I can bog down this thing enough to hurt it. I don't think I've ever had to do maintenance on it either. Just fill it with fuel. Guess you'll find out this kind of, yeah. Hey, this is working. Definitely working. Sounds like somebody's got a sour belly. You just gotta be careful about not missing some of this stuff because you can easily miss a few blades. With a 99% finish rate needed, that could be a problem. So I've gotten a majority of this. Let me just carve out around the edge of this dino here. A little bit more. And then I'm going to go do the stretch behind the snack shop. And then I'm going to hop back on the mower. Pretty clean. Yeah, there's a couple pieces in there. So back of the snack shack. Just read there might be Apex single player game in the works. Oh, right on. I know mobile is out there. Are you sure it wasn't for that? They just released mobile, a bunch of stuff on mobile. King's Canyon and some other things just got released. And a lot of the progress for the game itself has really been on mobile. I'm sure there's a whole team working on both, but. 
I would be down for a, a campaign of Apex. Or do you just mean solo dropping? Because can you even so you can't solo drop right now. You can only f do duos or trios and then not fill. So you can technically drop as a solo player, but there isn't a solo mode, right? I wonder if that's what they're talking about, or if it's like an actual single player campaign thing. I don't know how interested in the solo drops I would be, but in the campaign or any kind of cooperative storyline stuff, I would definitely be interested in. I mean, as, with as slow as I have to go with the mower, one one mile an hour or less, I mean, is this maybe as fast? <laughs> <Woo -hoo! laughs> That's a little crazy, huh? So I'm almost at 30%. And I would say my mower engine condition is probably about that same. 30% damage, that is. Actually, let's just clean up whatever I've missed here and then go do the other dino. Because there's another dinosaur that we're going to have to maneuver around too. Like my little swirly method here. Here, little dino, 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 dino. And I mean, this this job's probably going to cost me more to fix my mower than I'm actually going to make for mowing it. That's what's crazy. Piece right there. Any more over here? Switch to scissors. <sighs> Some big old shears. I 
remember when I mowed this last time I did this contract? Like, this was crazy bounce fest over here. Like, not healthy for the mower at all. So I'll knock this out right now. I still think there's one more dino. I know there's there's kind of one up above me or whatever, but uh, still haven't hit 30. That's crazy. Yep, and there's another dino. Ready to be done with their string trimmer, but I'm not in a hurry to do one mile an hour on a mower either. That's weird, it's not making any noise. Glitcher! It's not even seemingly bogging it down at the moment. Nor is it like not... It seems to be pretty efficient right now. I don't want to let off the throttle because it's like kicking butt. Did I break it? Because it's not like being bogged down. It's not leaving any grass behind for me to come back and get again. Unless I accidentally miss the actual line. This is actually not bad. I'm pretty sure I'm going faster than the mower would be. I mean, maybe not because it's a little wider, but I mean... Not having to backtrack. Just got to get good aim. Nobody asked, Patrice. Now it looks like it is. Oh, because I'm not down. Okay, now it's making noise. Weird. That was a good run. Now it's leaving stuff behind. That was weird. It was like broken. Or maybe I wasn't low enough? Maybe that's what it was. Oh, yeah. So it's not low enough. Haha. Uh -huh. So I still got to mow over all that again, anyways. All right. To the mower.
Backwards man, backwards man. I can go back as fast as you can. Alright, well hopefully I can get through. See, it looks like the engine condition's even worser now. Doesn't it? say why is it not changing the percent am I not mowing right yeah, it's good it's still good it's still good I'll be able to fly over that stuff I didn't mow all the way down though that's the good news about that and that's all good through there cool 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 Didn't, didn't, do do. Mo. See little bits and pieces here and there. There looks like I was gonna say there looks like there's another set right there, and another one. And with a 99.9, .9, most of those are gonna need to be hit, which is crazy. Oh, that was a loud chirp. I'm going uphill to the left, but it's pulling to the left. It's so weird. Come on, man. I'm like, you guys have no idea how little I'm pressing this button. I'm literally having to tap the reverse button to slow me down when I'm literally pressing 1% of the trigger. It's crazy. It doesn't always work that way. It's just like certain spots where the elevation changes or whatever. I mean, I feel like a goat would eat this up faster than I'm mowing. I mean, I guess I could just let it rock at two. Let it take some engine damage and see how I fare at the end. I don't know what the right move to do is here. I'm trying to save it. I tried to save uh, some of the percent with the string trimmer too, but it's like, I don't know if it did me much good. What's up, Todd? Welcome to the stream. We got some tall boy grass here, which is be uh, being quite the pain. As you can see, I'm overloading my engine, and it's just chugging away at my overall damage. Did I get all that grass? No. See, and it leaves grass behind sometimes, too. Goats are pretty quick. Quicker than me at one mile an hour. Remember, I gotta drive 100 miles on a mower. It's gonna take me 100 hours, one mile an hour. 
Like I'm literally like legit pulling for two, three percent off. Two, three percent and blah, blah, blah. It's just weird how you have to ride the brake. Crazy to think we got almost this whole, I mean, we got half of the half side done. Quarter. And we're almost to the end of that. <laughs> yeah, this one took a lot longer. Sorry, babe. Although. Let's say if I have a message for my car. Bye. Which I don't know if I'll get it. I mean, his his shop days are Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So, I mean, depending on what's all left of my car, if it's just putting like a badge on after it's like cured and sat and fully dried, then that'll be easy to do today, and I could come pick it up. If it's something like paint didn't get done or didn't match right or something, some of the work didn't get done right or something like. You know, I don't know. Come on, 40%. Let's go. Come on. Good lord. There's stuff everywhere. So the back's pretty good. There's a piece like right here, so a couple of them. One point five junk again, come on. I'm pushing it. I'm pushing it.
Hey, Phantom, what's up? Just on this slow grind. Got this really tall grass and up and down terrain that's making it hard to get my mow on. We've actually, as you can see, we've been at this for 45 minutes. <laughs> and we're only 42% done. I've had to use a lot of string trimmer. My engine condition's not in the best shape. Now, I'm almost as far done with as much damage as I've done, which is kind of crazy. I'm hoping that I can surpass the 50% mark of progress before I hit 50% of engine condition. Which I think I'm gaining a little bit of ground, and I, I once I get to that, I, I sort of string trimmed an area a little bit. So I should be able to get some of that pretty quick and easy. But I mean, it's like some of it's one mile an hour is too fast. 1.5, 1.6 is just too much. Ooh, there's some overhang right there. Let's go ahead and gobble that up. Yeah, the string trim part, though, is across the way there. You can see I got some of it. Although, no, I think it's actually right over here, right in front of me right now that I think about it. Yeah, it looks like it's mowed, but it's not low enough. It's all this area right here. Yeesh. Oh, I made it! I didn't think I was gonna make it under there. Being on the gravelly bits too will mess with my blade a bit, but I can fix the blade. The blade's not even... I'm not even worried about that. It's the rest of it. And is that all good back there? Okay, so we're good there. Yeah! Come on. It's crazy how long you have to press down the button and how you can't be touching anything else when you do it either. You can kind of see where the diamond is there that I haven't cut, but not fully. Okay, so I think I've gotten ahead of it a little bit, right? I'm at 48%. I'm definitely not to 50. Okay, now from right here. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Come on. Last little strip out here. All right, I 
think I got most of that. That might be something I'll have to come back for later. Ah! All right. We good. Woot, I'm almost done with half of it. <laughs> hey, what up, Brad? I guess I'm really not as close to being done with the half as I thought. We're almost a halfway, but not quite the same. He's leaving junk behind. Bro, this is this has been at it for two months. This is episode eight. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know where you've been. We're not back to it. We're about ready to bounce out from it. Yeah, we got all sorts of DLC, Jurassic stuff going on. You probably notice there's dinosaurs. He's good. I got the wrong mower for this job, though. Sadly, I've got all my money tied up into investing into my uh, headquarters getting bigger so I can have some more mowers. And I haven't even taken a loan out from the bank, so i still got lots of room for money stuff. But, uh, yeah, and once I get a couple of employees going too, like, because now I'll have more mowers, more employees to mow, more money coming in. It's like getting a stud multiplier. I don't have a lawn to mow, bro. We, we, we've made it so we don't have a yard to mow. Haven't for a couple of years. During the pandemic, we repurposed to put stones up and yeah, we don't, we have a little patch of grass off to the side, but it's small enough we string trim it. And, uh, but trust me, bro, growing up, I had to, I was an only child, so I had to mow the lawn all the time. And I also worked in landscaping for about four years. So I mowed lots of lawns. So I got lots of digital lawns to catch up on to get caught up with my real life stuff. Ah, did you see it just jump right there? I didn't change speed or nothing. Just terrain. Terrain change, mine. I won't lie, I would love it if I was at 83 right now and not Hey, what's up, Matthew? Welcome to the stream. I am barely touching the throttle. Like, I don't understand why 
literally 2% on the throttle takes me to two or three miles an hour, where it only goes to four or five miles an hour full throttle. Like, the precision of the, you know, sensitivity is way bad. Way bad. Uh, hey, you're welcome. Glad we can help out with LEGO Jurassic and more. Ah. I won't lie, I got a, a tank in the need of draining. And I still just think it's absolutely asinine. Like, like look, look, I mean, I don't know if you guys can see, but like, I'm, there's the full trigger, right? But like, I'm barely tapping it, and it's like ridiculous. Come on, really? Okay, well, whoops on my bad there, and then... What the crap? Yeah, it's always two, four, six, eight, ten. There's no, no, there's no odds. There's no threes, no six, no sevens, no nines. Just two, four, six, eight, ten. Sometimes there's a doubler too, like a two times, like a double score or something. Like uh, we've seen it on like I think Lego Star Wars: The Complete Saga and Indy. I think we're the two that had that. But never have they've never had an odd multiplier. It's always two, four, six, eight, ten. But if you get them all, you get three thousand eight hundred and forty times multiplier. So. Yeah, and if you use cheat codes, those could throw your whole progress off, like Brad's probably about to, to warn you. We always stay suggest staying away from any cheat codes for any bricks, characters, or anything. Unless you've got 100% already and you want to check out, like, characters or vehicles that weren't included in the original game, you needed a code for it, that's different. But the percentage doesn't always get tracked when you use a cheat code. So, like, if you use a 2 times the 2x cheat code, the game may not have recognized the 0.5% or whatever that it did count for for unlocking, and you might actually get to 99.5 or 99.8% and not be able to 100% the game because of the cheat code. So we always recommend. That's why we don't... Back on LEGO Star Wars 3 in the early, early, early days, we did make a video for cheat codes for that, but if you notice, we don't have cheat codes for any others. We know that they exist, but we don't promote them because we don't want people to struggle and have to replay a whole game because they opted to try to, you know cheat and, and uh, end up having to play more. Alright, 60%. About to lock in. Well, we've got videos. Uh, most of those were attached to uh, an area. So you should be able to... Uh, you can even go to happythumbsgaming.com and go to the Browse tab and browse our trophy achievement guides and go to Lego Jurassic and there'll be a written description of a lot of like the locations of where those things are. Very helpful. 
Big shout out to my guide riders, Tyler, Doug, Gary, Sam. Ooh, flexing. What up, Greg? We need to start placing bets. Will Brian make it to the end of this mo, or will he have to go drain the tank before? Now it is a 99.9, .9, so I'm probably going to get all the main chunks of grass done did and then have to do a bunch of searching because of my overloading. I mean, most of what I've been tracking has been mowed down pretty good, but... Yeah, here, I'll help you since... Lego Jurassic World, copy, boom, and... There's the link directly to our YouTube playlist. And then if you're wanting the actual guide itself, um, I've got that for you right here, too. Give me a hot second. Uh, Avengers, there it is, Jurassic. This one was done by Dougie Fresh. So there's the actual written trophy guide. The second link is the trophy guide. The first one is our YouTube playlist with all of the bits in there. Some of the stuff isn't necessarily word for word covered in my videos. Most of it's like all the collectibles and stuff are there, but uh, you know, sometimes there'll be like a list of where you can find the red bricks or where you can find whatever you're looking for. Um, a lot of people struggle too. They get all the way to like 100% or they're 99.7 or whatever. They're looking, trying to figure out that last little chunk and uh, often we have a description of what the requirements are for 100%. So like if you need to buy all characters and buy all vehicles, which a lot of people collect them and unlock them, but not everybody buys them. So, you know, there's things like that that can definitely be helpful if you're, you know, using our written guides. And a lot of effort goes in. We're actually creeping up on, I think we've had like 9,000 views on the, the Lego Skywalker guide. We're coming up close to it, 9,000. Which might not seem like a lot, but like you look at some of those trophy achievement guides, some of them don't even have two or three thousand views, you know, and, and largely because of their, you know, late to the to the show or whatever. Like we did Lego Batman one way late, right, um, and things like that. But Good Lord. I missed a piece, what? Hey, is anybody watching Westworld season four? The third episode was out last night, fourth episode? Third or fourth, I can't remember. It's interesting. Interesting. Yikes! You know, I wonder if string trimming would be better. Oh, I'm about 50% on engine condition. And it was 100% when I started this. That's crazy. So the Raptor Paddock trophy that requires us to, to play an overgrown Raptor Paddock and finish it, that's going to be a long one too. Definitely a long one. Hey, welcome back, Cuphead. <sighs> Almost 65. Oh my gosh, Kirsten, I uh, I didn't want to bring it up, 
but dang. I, I, I don't know what the second go is. I know that you had an issue with the neck not being stable, but I don't know if there was like something catastrophic that happened. I saw that something happened and, you, and it like blew itself up. It self imploded. And sometimes when you have those things like almost complete and they break like that, they don't just necessarily snap four, five, six pieces on. You got to sort of like take them all apart and almost rebuild it. I feel for you. I'm sorry. Lego Tall Neck's been out for months, bro. Months. <laughs> oh, boy. Here's the pulse. Here's Brad. <laughs> Nowhere near the pulse. <laughs> <laughs> yeah I, I don't know I don't know about the email stuff sometimes those things work sometimes they don't sometimes they, they go out and they're already sold out you know what I mean like I've had that happen before too notifications can be helpful though I know Kirsten got the orchid because of that temp number one was a mess on my bed gotcha Boy, that was a funky turn. Backwards man, the backwards man. Dang it, so there's gonna be some back there too. Shh. Definitely gonna have to get my string trimmer out. Was hoping I wasn't gonna have to. Ooh, 666. Six, six. Almost to that funny number. Your next paycheck? Are you are you getting compensated for helping grandma, or, or did you get a job that I don't know about? You said you've been spending time with a friend and taking care of your grandma, so I, I'm kind of assuming that maybe there's a compensation for grandma time. Uh, my PSN name is Inadub, but I'm not currently accepting any friend invites so you're welcome to check me out or whatever but just know that if you send me an invite you're going to get jumped in with the other 200 plus people that are waiting for an invite uh, to be accepted I just got to a point where I had so many friends that I don't know who they are it just didn't make sense to keep adding more and more and more and more people now I do understand that from the other side it's kind of cool like hey I'm friends with the YouTuber but at at the end of the day, if you're not playing any games and not really conversing with me. Um, and, and I also got a lot of spam stuff, too, where people would, like, spam invites and spam messages and, and include me in these big, giant groups that I have no interest, no affiliation, no desire or anything to be a part of, right? So, uh, so I just stopped accepting new people. Now, I have added some people that I actually do know in life, but I haven't. It's been years since I've accepted any... Uh, you know, any viewer type request stuff. It is nothing personal against you. Not saying you would be one of those guys or whatever, but um, it's just better for me to uh, be up front and sort of get that out of the way early. Yeah, that was a nice turnaround there. Oh. Oh, I didn't even get. I thought for sure I was going to be a flower plower. Boy, that stretch along the 
path there was almost too easy. I was able to go like three miles an hour and gain quite a bit of uh, percentage there. But now it's back to two. Uh-oh, camera adjustments. Love those auto cameras. Uh, what? Hey, what's up, Mark? Need the string trimmer there too, dang. Longest level ever. I'm telling you guys, I don't know if I'm gonna make it. Oh man, I hope that when I get done with all the major grass that I'm not having to string trim to find those last 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3. I'll be like 99.6, 99.7, 99.8. Yeah, we're doing well, Mark. I'm doing well anyways. Me personally. I'm excited. It's summer league for basketball. So, like, my Blazers have a team. It's not the team that'll play in the official games. But some of those players might make the final cut, you know, final roster. In fact, I know a couple of them will. Like, uh, there's definitely three or four guys that are going to be on the team. But they won't play a whole lot unless the team gets injured or something happens. But um, it's still fun. We lost our first game by a couple points. They made a nice comeback. Second game they did win, so they're one and one, which, uh, you know, I'd love it if they were two and zero. Oh, but really, it doesn't really matter a whole lot. There is a summer league, like championship bracket, so you play a few games and then everybody gets seeded into a bracket and then they play the bracket, much like a March Madness or even just the regular playoffs or any sport. Um, and there is a championship; they give you a ring for summer league, but it's I mean it's not nearly as cool. And uh, obviously, a summer league championship is not anything near. A regular championship so if blazers win it it's not like oh yeah we're summer league champs we will we not gonna be a parade or anything like that i don't think i mean it's been 40 plus years since they've won a championship and we don't have other we don't have baseball and i mean we have the ml uh, um we have the mls team the uh portland timbers but we don't have any other major sports in, in portland or oregon so the blazers are like really coveted by everybody and we, we, our city is due for a championship. But the NBA is so talented right now. I, I have not seen it this well balanced with this much talent in a long time. Uh, there's so many good teams. Like every year for the last five or 10 years, there's always been like three or four bottom feeder teams on each the West and the East sides. Now there's like maybe one or two bottom feeder teams, supposedly, we'll see how they all work out. But like a lot of players have been traded, a lot of new teams are looking pretty sweet. You know, Portland's doing pretty good with their upgrades. This, I don't know if it's enough to really compete with some of the really good teams. Some of the really good teams are losing some of their players and stuff due to various reasons. So like, you know, it's shifting and whether it'll be our turn or not, only time will tell, but there's talk too that not next, not next season, but the season after, they're probably going to add a couple of teams. So it's likely that Las Vegas will get a team and they're talking that Seattle will get another team. But I don't know how that's gonna work out for the current breakdown. Cause we've got like 15 teams in the East, 15 teams in the West. You had two more teams to the West. How's that gonna work? You add one team to the East and one team to the West and that still doesn't really work. It's almost like you need to add four teams, but I don't know how that'll work. 
Yeah, I did see that. I did see that. They haven't won in Seattle in a long time, and they've never won by three goals. And I actually watched the game on Saturday. It was pretty interesting, pretty fun. I feel like I've jinxed the team because the Timbers have been pretty good the last few years, made the playoffs, had a good run, even we're in the championship game a couple of years ago or a year ago. And uh, since I've been watching them, they're terrible. And I feel like I'm the reason. I feel like as soon as I piggybacked on, it's like, you know what? I need to start watching these guys. They just got bad. And I don't know if I'm like bad luck for them or what. And if that's the case, maybe I should stop watching the Blazers. All right, 78%. If wifey's listening, I'm getting close to being done. Uh, I don't have much experience with sports with my dad. Oh, I'm off track here. Oh, man. That's true. I got... Uh, I have a, a friend's wife who's going through a really nasty battle with cancer right now, and my, my grandmother's actually battling stage four breast cancer for, like, I don't know how many times. Like, they say stage four, but they, they haven't, like, given, like, a life cycle. Like, they're not, I don't know what what's going on, but it's not good. This is, like, her third or fourth time fighting breast cancer, too. She's had a full-on mastectomy both both breasts have been removed like i don't even know how she's getting it but she has lumps that are painful and are cancerous in the breast areas it's terrible absolutely terrible Get it, get it, okay. Get it, get it, yes, yes, yes. Yeah, it sucks. I mean, it, it, unfortunately, it's just one of those things with life, right? Like, can't do a whole lot about it. Hold on to what you do have and cherish it while you got it. Yeah, uh, a guy I don't talk to much these days, but, you know, he was our photographer at our wedding and, you know, he used to be a parts salesman at a place that I used to frequent a lot to buy parts for my cars. And, um, yeah, he, he's been with this girl for a long time and, and they got married. And shortly after they got married, they announced that she had not long to live. Like, they have a time frame and it's very short. So they're, like, traveling all over, doing Hawaii and doing all sorts of, like, other trips they're both really heavy into cycling and um so they've been doing some like you know but i think she's getting to a point where the cycling's not really an option anymore it's super sad i mean like this dude you know spent most of his life he's a couple years older than i am spent most of his life single or bouncing around in relationships and then found like the girl and he's been with her for a long time probably 10 to 8 10 years and, you know, why they didn't get married, I don't know. But they finally decided to do that and check in boxes. Oh, no, tomorrow we won't be doing any LEGO DC supervillains uh, streams or anything for a long time. In fact, uh, the only LEGO plans we have right now is LEGO Star Wars, the Skywalker Saga videos, which a new planet will get uploaded every Saturday. And if we have any challenges, upgrade videos, or space collections, we will put those up on Tuesdays and Thursdays. And eventually I might start uploading them more frequently, but knowing that I'm going on a vacation and I want to have stuff while I'm gone, I'm preloading a bunch of stuff. Um, yeah, so it's going to be a while before, you know, we start seeing mass uploads of that stuff or mass releases of it. I've been uploading almost every day. Uh, I've missed a couple here and there, but uh, almost every day for, I don't know, since I started Free Roam. But I just haven't been releasing them to the public so that I can have my release schedule the way I want it um, and, and be able to have content while I'm gone every day, um, which is important. And I'll be gone for a full week, so. 
so there will likely be no streams that week. It just depends on the internet and how everything works once I get there. I'm gonna take my Lego Optimus and I might like do a, a couple of streams, like an hour here, an hour there, or whatever building. Um, and hopefully I'd be able to finish it. But I mean, ultimately, we'll just have to wait and see. I'm gonna take my PS5, or one of them anyways. That's right. I got two. I got three if you include Reese's. Yeah, tomorrow I do believe there is a planet video that'll go up. It might even be an upgrade video. I can't remember. And I guess I could check my release schedule, but... Nice. Now just don't knock it over, Kirsten. <laughs> oh, come on. Is that a piece, really? It is. Dang it. How was I overloading the engine? There was no grass below me. I feel like when the string trimmer broke, the level broke. Oh my gosh, you guys, I'm literally in the last clump. This last cluster. And it's got a really odd shape. But I mean, it's going. Almost to 87%. Good, good, Kirsten. Is that like the aftermath of get good? <laughs> uh, possibly, Brad, possibly. I know multiplayer is out now, uh, I am aware. It's one of those things where I, I would, wouldn't mind playing it. It looks very interesting to me. I feel like it would be a game I would enjoy. I, I sort of struggle with the whether I should stream that type of game or not. I mean, I feel like I'm at a place with the channel where I can play whatever I want, but whether that's a good idea or not. Um, I stated when it first came out that I would only play it if I got a code and I did not get my request. Uh, I think it's because I did not fulfill the request from Sniper Elite 5. I was granted it, and then I never claimed it. And I think that they're kind of like, well, what the crap, man? Like, we're not just going to keep giving you stuff if you're not going to even use it. But... It's not the same game. It's the same style. But it's not even close to the same game. Storyline's completely different. The mechanics, especially with like, I mean, yes, there's multiple endings and different choices. Choose your own adventure, if you will. But I wouldn't even come close to saying they're the same game. And they're not related story-wise at all, right? Like, it's not the same kid or family at all, right? Because, like, it's all new, just totally different. I mean, I've, I've liked, like, pretty much all of their games they've put out so far. Almost to that 90%. Never been so excited to get to 90 before. I don't like the way this is carving out. All these wonky turns that take so long. I don't remember until dawn. Was there no electronics or nothing? Was it like like eighties or something? I, I don't remember this, the the timeline. I, I remember. 
like some of the, the the big moments of like you know the choices and stuff and like riding up there on the gondolas that were basically broken and and I remember some of that but I don't remember a lot of that the details behind the story so even if it was the same people are the same game and sort of a remaster kind of a thing I wouldn't notice it because I only played through it one time and it was like when it came out so whatever it was four five six years ago long time ago 2015 so yeah seven years ago we had smartphones in 2015 I did anyways <laughs> you might not have but I did I want to say I was probably on like Galaxy 3 or 4 back then. Yeah, I've never played the Arkham games. I've got mixed reviews from people. And, and I'm a Batman guy, but I'm not like a Batman lover, you know? Um, so I never actually ever got to those. I, I think I own a couple of them from Plus PS Plus downloads or various. I may have bought one or two of them along the way, too, on sale. I don't know. They've always been there, but I don't know. They just don't really jump out to me. Like, I, I just don't know why. They probably do okay view-wise. I know that Brad said that the Platinum on one or two of them for collectibles is ridic ridiculous, but... Really, I'm not worried about engine condition anymore. I know I'm going to have to repair a bunch. Really, I just don't want to leave behind any grass that's going to require me to go and find it. I'm not so I'm not scared of collectibles, but you were saying like some of them are really hard to get or hard to find or something. I don't remember what it was. Again, details. It's going to take me 90 minutes or more to do this one yard. And it's really not that big. It's more of like just how tall the grass was and how weak my mower seemed to be. I mean, Star Wars, the Skywalker saga has like thousands of collectibles. Thousands. Like there's what, there's 225 mini kits, 135 challenges, I think. And then there's like 1,200 Kyber bricks and 380 character tokens. And I can't remember how many ships. There's like 100 ships or something like that. Yeah, it's crazy. There's, there's about 2,000 collectibles total. You know, a handful of them unlock just by playing the story. So it's not like you have to physically go get all of them. But then that free roam, the way they do stuff, man, they make you work in that free roam. But yeah, by the end, there's, you know, pretty close to 2,000 collectibles. I'm looking good on percentages here, you guys. I'm feeling like it's not going to be much cleanup. Oh, 
Oh no, I'm about ready to legit run out of gas. Yeah, as you guys know, I'm not a huge fan of being stealthy. It's not one of my skills. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I might not even have to finish this patch to get it all. Or maybe I will. It's gonna be so close. It's gonna be so close, you guys. It's gonna be so close. Give me that 98. Oh, we're good. We're good. We're good. I think we're good. We're good. Yes, we're good. 90 minutes later. Holy cow. All right. Let's go find the parking lot and get out. I wonder how many. Uh, oh, it looks like some grass. What's that? Is that really like grass I left behind or is it, did I drive through some poopy? Hopefully I'm going the right way. Yep, all right. Definitely not adding to my 10 contracts and under the time allotted, right? And for the record, barely crossed the finish line, you guys. Uh, the tank is so full right now. Back teeth are floating. Like I've got the chills. So I'm not going to spend a whole lot of time in the menu here finishing up. I'm going to go ahead and collect my stuff and then, oh, don't go into the long grass. Complete the overgrown contract on the wrapper product. <laughs> what? I mean, I'll take it. It's the wrong one, though. It's not. Is, was that the raptor paddock? I guess maybe it could have been the raptor paddock. It said guard. Okay, what? what's the other one? Oh, well, no, no. I accepted them both. Dang it. So maybe that was one. Okay, so we got uh, one of the trophies for the DLC for the dinos. Weren't able to wrap up the Ancient Britain, though. But yeah, we... Uh... <laughs> oh, and that's the T... Okay, so that is the T-Rex paddock. I need to find a collectible there still? That doesn't seem right. That doesn't seem right. That seems like a glitch. Anyways, guys, uh, thank you so much for hanging out. Be on the lookout for a LEGO Star Wars video tomorrow. I will be back Wednesday with... You guessed it, Man Eater DLC. Hopefully, we'll finish up the Truth Quest and get that 100% as well before moving on to Wend Strays the following week. And then uh, Friday should be Apex Legends. And again, Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, be looking for LEGO Star Wars content. Hey guys, thank you so much for hanging out. You guys know the drill. Head on over to any of our social medias. If you have not already, please check out happythumbsgaming.com. Nice to see some old and some new faces in the chat today. Much love. I hope to see you guys soon. As always, until next time. Whoop!